Yellow ladies and gentlemen, do I look tired? Well, I am. Because I just woke up 20 minutes ago and grabbed me a little bite to eat and uh, let the doggies out, preparing for severe thunderstorms. We've already had one round of them today. we got more of them coming tonight. And uh, an invasion of Scooby-Doo's. We hear that they might be in. Oh, they're, they're already in town. Are you all coming with the thunderstorms? I think he feels obligated that he has to be here for the opening. Have you noticed he's here for the opening of, of about every show? Is that, is that it? Is that all you got? Come here. Come on. Come on. The people love Scooby. They love the Scooby-Doo's. They do. They love the Scoobies. Cow's eating his bone. So he'll either be back or he won't. Um, I'm worn out. This is three three shows in three days. Do you know how hard it is to do three shows in three days? It ain't fucking hard at all. That's why I do it. I've done a hundred and something in a row. It ain't that big a fucking deal. Um, hope y'all uh, that got a chance to see it enjoyed the Anthony Scaramucci show yesterday. That was a lot of fun. I thought I might see myself on the Tucker Carlson show tonight. I thought it was a possibility. <laughs> they they showed David Weissman on the Sean Hannity show. I figured if Weissman's little tweet can get shown on Sean Hannity, surely to God, Tucker Carlson could play uh, what we did yesterday. But then again, they might have language restrictions over at the at the at the uh, Tucker Carlson show. That might be why they couldn't play it. So uh, so we got all that going for us. No uh, Filipinos. I have not cut my hair yet. Uh, it's scheduled tomorrow at one o'clock. Finally, finally, the king's going to get his goddamn haircut. We hope. Hi, Scooby. Are you back? He, he good little boy. He just so good. He's just there's nothing but pure goodness in him. He, he was born good and he got better as time went on. He said, Daddy's good at lying. Um, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, the hair finally gets cut tomorrow. Filipinos hate the long hair. I don't know what the deal is. Filipinos don't like the long hair. So, um, it's getting out of hand. So we're gonna have to do something about it. Uh, Scooby might be here for the whole show tonight. I don't know. He seems to be in that type of mood. But the uh, the Mooch show was a lot of fun yesterday. We have uh, oh we have a special guest that's going to be here tonight. I have it con confirmed now. He he's on a case right now. Can't have him on yet. He's got a couple of cases he's on. But we're going to be back with on the beat with Rico Constantino tonight. We're going to be doing that. Rico's going to be here, and boy do we have a huge announcement for you tonight. A lot of y'all been running your your mouths out there. Didn't think the king could produce. Oh, we're producing. Not that this is going to be a shit show tonight, and it might be. I can't make Rico deliver, but I, I, he'll, he'll bring something. I'm hoping for an arrest tonight. I'm tired of this getting directions and being nice. And I want somebody at least tased tonight. I think tased would be good. Gregory Manuel with a badge in here. Look at look at all these badges. Sean McAllister. My, my co-host can come in whenever he's ready. He's, he's, he's probably trying to be a good boy. Um, Dan Limley says, check PayPal. No, uh, Gregory Manuel. Hey, doing Kingfish. Uh, it's been a few. It has been a few weeks, Mr. Manuel. We haven't seen you in a while. Uh, Eunice from the Philippines is watching. How you doing, Miss Eunice? She doesn't have school today. I don't think. I don't think. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Scooby. Well, there you go. There you go. Who else we got? Uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline watching the show. Bless her heart. Uh, Vanessa from the Philippines. All of them hate my... Well, Vanessa never bitches about my hair, so I'll give her that. Eunice has said, get a haircut. She has said that. She's probably right. So let me check PayPal and uh, see what we're kicking off the day with. While Kenny's checking PayPal, I'm going to tell you folks... There's no, 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 very... not, no, not yet. No, no, we can't okay. reveal it yet. Okay. okay we okay. can't reveal it yet. It's too mm -hmm. early in the show. Well, you know what part we can't reveal yet. Well, there's uh, lots Dan of parts Lim we can't reveal, but <laughs> Dan Limley with a fifteen dollar donation right off the bat. Dan is that Limley. more than we made? Is that more than we made on the last show? That is more. Well, if you count what the Mooch did, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mooches has not come through yet, but they did write me today and said that they are uh, uh, totally going to. Uh, it's processing right now. It's, it's you know, it's <laughs> the uh, yeah, the um, yeah, it, it, it's on the way. It's on the way. It's uh, I did receive confirmation from the office and the mooch himself. Uh, they did something very nice for us, which in turn made Bob do something very nice for us. So that was very good. Um, but yeah, we're building we're building to the big announcement. 
I, I need to wait for Rico to be here before I can even bring it up. Well, this was not the big announcement. This was the... Well, yeah, you less, have not as big of an announcement. I have a less big announcement. The only reason you know about the big announcement is that you contacted me and, and asked me something you've never asked me before. You said, King, sure. are you busy? You don't normally care if I'm busy or not. You just fucking interrupt my no, day. No, because that's something I wanted to show you, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, well, so what I want to well, show you—you you was probably somewhat shocked at what I was busy with. What I, I was very shocked at what yeah. you were busy with. I so. was shocked I was that busy. Ninety-nine and, minutes busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, folks, those of you who like to watch the show after we go and live, masturbate. And, well, oh, not that. I don't know what you do after we, we, you know, in your own privacy of your own home. It's up to you. But those of you who like to watch the show after it's over so that you don't feel any pressure to contribute. No super oh, this, chats. This, this, this is pretty big news right here. This yeah, is pretty, no pretty super big. chats. You know, I would super chat if I was in the chat, but I'm not there now, so I can't. Yeah. Well, guess I, what? I've, I've, heard, I've, heard that, I've heard that excuse before. If I could only, if I could only donate I, after I the show, I'd you know, donate I can't be show. there tonight and moving forward on every episode of Hi, Jana. On every episode of the Bowling Alley, you will see, and I'll put the screenshot up so you can see on. it. At the very bottom of your screen is a new button that says thanks. This is on both the mobile version and the desktop, the computer version. So cool. you have no excuse. It's not hidden. Right if on you're both. on an Android, not, not hidden. hidden. If you're on the iPhone, that thanks button. You click that thanks button and you can make a donation. $2, $5, $10. I think $50 is a thousand. Can you do a thousand? Yeah. Can you do a thousand? You have to do it like 25 times or something to do a thousand. Oh, okay. But you could good. if you really wanted to. I think there's a limit. I think Jay Ward found the well, limit. Well, non members that I've never seen in here before, they get their name posted on the screen once. The, the, the membership has its privileges. So yeah. let, let me show you as Bob so explains this. See, let me take this. Jan is a member, so she gets her name posted and her questions. Gregory Manuel hadn't been here in weeks, has a membership. Sean McAllister. Has a membership. He has no profile picture on his Twitter account, but I did write him today. Dan Lemley, big donor on the show, every show, nice PayPal donation. And uh, but see, uh, you don't have one, so we only give you. Good God, Bob's explaining it to you. There you go. See, so Michigan membership. Mike, member, membership to the show, membership to the show, membership to the show, and it will get you if if you join. Well, the there are some. Uh, videos that we post that are for all members most yeah. of the videos we post are for mid main dinner or mid carters and up so we have different yeah. levels there's jobbers three bucks a month it's 10 cents a day 25 cents a show we do three shows 12 shows every month minimum minimum usually more than that but it's three in a row this a week show. and we still might do one they might get four shows this week live interactive three bucks not begging anybody six bucks is mid card you get access to the rant well, of the if you week. want to interact with the show you can watch for free but if you Absolutely. want to interact get if you your want to chat posted, see the you. special videos we post the 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 pictures of uh, Jim Cornette masturbating in his bed we got those but those are hidden you got to pay to see those hidden. yeah we didn't want, we you, didn't want to show those but there's a lot of you out there that wanted to see that so well, and we have Jim Jim asked us to post those that was kind of well funny. yeah he he paid me money to All right. if you do main event you'll get a call with Kenny 15 minute call every month with Kenny but you have to go ask for it it's not yeah, just you gotta ask he's not going to look you he up wants, and call you well he wants you know you're honoring their schedule right you're not just going to call them up at some time well when they're be busy rude. i mean it would be rude be, absolutely but now even if you don't have a membership, even if you're not in the chat and you don't can't do super chats, you'd be amazed you do, how many people do want to see Jimmy do that. You'd be you'd you'd be amazed. Now now you can do super making, thanks. making good money on that video. Just click that thanks button there at the bottom of the screen. That's so you while do. you're at it, like the show. While you're at it, it's under subscribe. It's that'd be, word, yeah. but hit the subscribe. Hit the join. Join gives you the membership. It's all there for you, and it's courtesy of YouTube. They said, "Hey, fans of the Bowling Alley, I know yeah. you want to give." Yeah, they, they knew. Can't be there. Matter of and fact, so this now's should your be called. As a matter of fact, Bob, this should be called the Bowling Rule. I this think it's the called. A, they were going to call it a Super Bowling at first, but then the Super Bowling. Yeah, yeah. Instead of a Super, there, was a, bank, of, there was a lot of talk about that. A lot of folks were going. If I just put Bowling on there, they really wouldn't know what the button meant. 
So other, you know, other content creators were very upset about it. So the vote was like 14 million to two uh, in order to keep it. But the two were very important people and they decided to head veto power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. so that's, that's my big news. It's not you near got, the big, big news. That. It's, it pales in comparison to the really big news, but it's still good. Yeah, oh, it definitely pales to the, to the really big news. But uh, we're going to wait for our very special guest to get in here tonight. Want to talk some, Mavericks? So, so, no, somebody, some, somebody, somebody's flirting. Just they're that, they're that close. They're that close. Yes, um, you're very see. close. They, they, it's so goddamn close. It's a, uh, it's the middle of the lake somewhere up in deep northern Michigan, and it's springtime, but the lake is thawing, and they're right out in the goddamn middle of it. Say, so, hey, I can uh, ice fish into the middle of July. You should. Well, there's probably up there a few people that can. Um, let's see here. Um, Mavericks. Did, well, tough loss. You, can, you can't you know beat what? everybody by 56 points every night in the middle of the. No, quarter. and you know they lost both uh, game one and two. They in did Phoenix, and lost them so, pretty heavily. Lost them pretty heavily. So I, so I think this will be another long, tough series. I have it Mavericks in six. Michigan Mike can read code. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> they already fell through in my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking about somebody being on that ice, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 They, yeah. They, Mike, they, Mike reads code. I, I didn't realize Mike was a good code reader. but uh, He's a code reader. He's one of those Apache code talkers. Have you, have you seen those Looney Tunes cartoons where they step out and you see that crack that, mm -hmm. that hits the middle of the lake? Uh Okay, that's great. Um, so, uh, so yeah, membership, mem mem membership has its privileges, we keep saying. Yeah, if, so, if you want uh, your posts to be up, up on the wall. Keep that money in there. Just, just, just like this. Sweet Jana. Sweet Jana. I'm not counting the Mavs out just yet, but that was rough. Well, they got beat by 30 by Phoenix, and Phoenix is a one seed. Golden State's a mere two. They're a mere two. Yeah, I mean, a mere two seed. And uh, Yakov Smirnov, what's his name? What's that guy for Dallas that just lights it? Luca. Luca Doncic. Luka, you know what I call him? No, no, that ain't his name. That ain't his name. Luca McCain. Luca McCain. Run Luca. The rifleman. That's what they used to call me when I when I was a young a young three point yeah, shooter. It's, it's a sharpshooter, right? They called me the rifleman because they said he 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 he, you, he just he just he doesn't even you don't even see him cock his rifle. Bowling would touch the ball, shoot the ball. They, they, you, they, and they call. They, and I swear to God, they called me the Rifleman before Chuck Persons of Auburn was called the Rifleman. Swear to whatever it is you believe in. I believe. Uh, well, Chuck they might. Connors, rifleman. There you go. Yeah, Chuck we Connors just, copied Kenny Bowling, even though he did it. You know, in nineteen. 19- 58 or we both we both played major league baseball i had to put out a tweet today about how i hit a home run in atlanta fulton county stadium i hit a home run off grant jackson now he did play he did play nba basketball too he did he did chicago he bulls right uh, boston celtics yeah boston celtics and um i think he was in either the white Sox. uh i played for the uh cincinnati reds organization it was a one day contract. Dave Miley signed me to a one day deal. And uh and I was on the Louisville Bats roster, sat on the bench. Uh Rico was there. Rico Costantino yeah. was there that day. Took bat in practice. With Kenny the, got uh, cut for a morals Reds. clause. Well, the morals clause, uh, they they knew we were flirting with danger that the day they signed me. Yeah. I said, What do you mean you can't tell the referee to go fuck himself on on a ball right down the middle? You know, what do you mean? So um and and I got beaned. I got beaned by Dave Miley when I hit a home run off Grant Jackson. They they, they they said it's offensive to take Hall of Fame pitchers deep. I didn't know. Plus, I did it with aluminum bat. I got criticized over that. You That's know, well, all the college kids do it. They they there wasn't anything in the rule book about it. Eunice on multiple accounts tonight. She's doing. Uh, she's got her. She's got her membership. She's a Filipino and has a badge. Ice cream fresh out of the hospital. Filipino got a badge. Yeah, I don't. Michigan, what, I don't what's get Michigan Mike season. doing? Watching, watching the NHL. NHL. Uh, Dallas is out, right? Yes. Is, Dallas, thanks, I'm Kenny. sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to start any shit. And I just, I just don't get why they wear the full. Why, I just they don't, don't get wear why they face. don't wear. Well, uh, I don't have any teeth, and it's, I never played hockey. 
It's because there's a tough guy mentality. It's the you I mean, can't say how to Rico till he gets here. He's he's yeah. not here yet. That I mean, is not Rico. Players to the right. are like, okay, I've got a skate that sliced my juggler. That's okay. I'll be put a band aid on it. I'll be back. The hockey yeah. players are just a, an extra level of tough, and I think that or an extra is, level of not very smart or dumb. Right. It's thank you. It's, thank it's you. the it's same thing as the they didn't wear helmets for the longest time, and then they someone started wearing helmets. And then eventually, now, that looks like a damn good idea. Yeah. yeah, you think? And then eventually, everybody's wearing helmets. And now, starting to wear the face mask, it's kind of like in baseball with the chin flap ba- uh, baseball or helmet, right? With a little flap mm-hmm. that comes out that protects your cheek, I guess. Uh, you'll see it more and more and more. And then eventually, everybody will have it. And we'll go, well, look, here, this is the time they didn't even wear cheek flaps. As, Instead of looking back, well, at I do the remember the 40s NFL. They do I, do remember, I, I, I do remember a day in the NFL they wore leather helmets. Yeah. Now I wasn't around in those days, but That's I've seen video. Tell me. Yeah, I've Rico was video. talking about it. Rico was telling us about yeah, it. Yeah, Rico. Rico played, I think, six or eight downs with a leather helmet, from what I remember. Uh, oh boy, um, Bob, what did you think of that Scaramucci show yesterday? I thought that was terrific. He is a super articulate man. He, well, you uh, don't get has, $9 million being a dumbass. Where's that? I said, you don't well, get $9 billion being a dumbass. There is there is that. I mean, unless you inherit it from somebody. There are some dumbasses that have been, I don't know if they know. Well, yeah. Probably. I don't know if they have $9 billion, but. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. <laughs> well, um, unless, unless, unless Cuba lends it to them. Yeah. <laughs> he, he didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't. And Scaramucci with a quote last night that uh, do we have the Tucker Carlson uh, comment ready to go? We could we could do that way. Was sweet. Oh, by the way, sweet mangoes here. By the way. Oh, so, yeah, speaking of sweet mango, she just sent me another death. Doesn't video. she owe you some medication money? She owes me something, man. Thanks, she owes although, you some medication money. Uh, although uh, I, I would never have to worry about Viagra when sweet mango is around. Ooh, I, 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 not even well, I was going. After I'm gonna, I'm gonna go even. find that. I, I've got the video for uh, uh, um, smooch, but I do have this. I don't have it loaded on this. Okay, page well, yet. we got it. We but got away, so. while I'm going to get that, let me go show you this latest piece of mango love. Now, everyone, right, get ready to donate, if you're, everybody. Get ready to donate. All, yeah, if, if you're, you're a male, if, if you're or you're a female. female. And you're attracted to well. As a matter as a matter of fact, you, you, uh, Eunice once told me that mango's her inspiration. So you know, here, you go. here we go. Dile a ella que me lo ponga pa acá. I wonder if she goes to downtown Saudi Arabia, minus, yeah. her, gar- minus her garb, and just gets out I, of I garb. think that she's that actually thing. trying to subterfuge this on something that you and I have talked about. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that ain't a possibility either. Yeah. I ain't saying now, that ain't a possibility. video clip may be too long. You never know. You never know. Here, so let's see if it'll go up. But do remember, now we've, we've lost six of you for some reason, six or seven of you. Uh, they probably we got Rico, Rico, Rico Constantino is going to be joining us on the beat here pretty soon. So uh, call your friends and relatives, call your aunts and uncles, call your nieces and nephews, call the people you hate, call your haters. Oh, the haters love it. The haters love to come here um, and let them know that Rico is going to be on the beat. He's going to be in uniform, hopefully tasing somebody. I don't know. If we, we don't want him shooting anybody in the back. We don't want that. Well, no, we want to face on. I, I watched the old West. There's nothing worse than shooting somebody in the back. Nothing worse than that. So Mango's got her clip rolled on here tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, ice cream Jennifer still recovering. Uh, she is uh, home for three weeks. She can't even go to work. Mm. Uh, they told her that she must stay home and rest and recover. Whatever that fever is she had. And uh, Chris. Bingay Wright, fever. Chris or I, neither one had ever heard of that fever, but you pronounced it correctly. What do you know about it? Uh, it's just a mosquito-borne. Oh, yeah, mosquito Kind of like malaria. Because that's what In Eunice that. was worried about. That's why she was hoping to get screens on her windows. Right. 
And uh, she sent me some price estimations on, and, and I think that's an important thing. You don't want to get bit by mosquitoes. And, and she sent me some price estimations to get a screen door and some screens on the windows there. It's mm-hmm. not ungodly. I think we're looking at a grand total of, of for a door on her upper level. We don't need her or the dogs falling out the goddamn yeah. open area of the terrace. Um, so if, if, if we could even raise $40 for that tonight, that, that, would be, that would be, that would be nice. Yeah. And, All right. So uh, here's, here's the mooch. Oh, we got the visual loaded and ready to go. Get right. him up here. All right. Here we go. Hopefully you can hear this. Oh, one. he'll be around. He'll be around. He'll be around. Mooch works at his own pace. Yeah, does. Uh, any relationship with Tucker Carlson, as you know, with this recent shooting, he's been getting a little bit of heat for that. Uh, what, what's your opinions on that? And how do you get along? No, with Tucker? No, no, I, I think Tucker, are you allowed to curse on this? I can't remember. Can you curse on this or this is a choice? Oh, hell yeah, you can curse on it. I think he's one of the biggest assholes in America. Okay? Thank you. He is a prep stir, prep school jackass. Yeah. He's the guy that would have lasted 10 minutes in my high school. It, it, you know, yeah. you know what would have happened to Tucker because he would have gotten his ass kicked perpetually. His right. mother would have locked the front screen door and <laughs> we would have gone into the back of the house. To the back of the house. Him, yeah, and pulled him out of the house from the yeah. other side, you know. He's what one of the biggest he, all-time assholes ever. And I'm going to tell you something about Tucker. Go ahead He's ahead. a hate monger. I'll, I'll okay, dedicate an hour to exactly, this. He knows exactly what he's doing. He knows he knows he exactly does. what he's saying. He is trying to incite people. Uh-huh. Um, we have a browning population. The population is becoming blacker and browner. All the time. Uh, that's life. Okay, who cares? We're all right. the same. Okay, we have to learn to get into a post-racial world and recognize that, forget about racism, there's one race, that's the human race. We have to Thank stop you. this nonsense, okay? And he wants to feed into it. So we get a twofer here. Yeah, two not for just, one. Not just one clip. Yeah, two donate clips. again. The problem is going two. on for a very long time. But I'm going to say something that people don't like, particularly Republicans, okay? We both do we, that. We are the richest society in the western hemisphere Uh to our south we have poorer societies yes we've helped we've helped mexico through nafta but it is still an uneven and poor society Uh Uh, further south into central america and south america you have a spate of problems if you are offering asylum to somebody or as milton friedman said you have a welfare state Well, one of the things you have to do is you have to control the border because if you have a welfare state, people will flood across the border to participate in it uh, because it's just more good market, free market behavior. um, If you're giving people this opportunity. So so what we need to do, we're not doing, uh, but we have to go back to what Franklin Roosevelt called the good neighbor policy. We have to invest infrastructure and resources into the countries where the people are on the run. And if uh-huh. we do that, I mean, we spent a couple trillion dollars in the Middle East, but yeah. if we spent that kind of money in our own country and south of the border, and we built up some of these countries and we help these countries, uh-huh. we would stop the immigration problem. Oh, there so we go. We go. Little little clip from Star Maker Productions there that Star Maker had absolutely nothing to do with other than just sitting there and hearing the questions and the answers. Um, yeah, I was a uh, very uh, interested to hear his view on immigration. I, that was not what I was looking for. And also another great suggestion he had is what he wanted to do with the Senate and Congress. And there's a little bit of sarcasm in that because he's right. If you paid these assholes $20 million a, a year tax free and then said, but you're here for four years, but you got one year to balance the budget or you get nothing. We replace your ass. We find somebody will get in here and yeah, put the budget would be balanced immediately. and we'll put country over person and, and put country over party. Uh, Cause what we have right now, we got a bunch of people that are all in it for themselves. Uh, you're and I'll name two Democrats that are as guilty as anybody, Kirsten Cinema and, uh, and Munchkin uh, from West Virginia. And uh, they're all about themselves first. Kirsten Cinema is being paid by Big Pharma. Uh, Munchkin's being paid by Big Oil and uh, the coal industries. Which and he, he owns both, major. Yeah, he owns he owns a coal he owns a coal mine, don't he? Yes. Yeah, 
So he's, uh, they're both deep in his pot. He has made, they figured up nearly $3 million just since he's been in Congress, just off that alone. Uh, Kirsten Cinema several months ago had pocketed $750,000 from Big Pharma for her to vote their way. Well, it, you only got to manipulate two or three, four senators to get shit to go your way. And uh, be, uh, especially on the Republican side. Uh, because it, once you get two or three or four of them that are never going to vote with Democrats, then, then they're fucked. Uh, right. Anything that will benefit the people seems... Uh, did you see it today, Mike? Or, uh, uh, Mike, did I just call you Mike? Did you see it he today, did. Bob? Mike's, uh, Mike's got a, Mike's got a good comment there. question up here. Let, yeah, let's get well, his question in, and then we'll cover the it's shit. It's not a question. He's just and commenting. You did say it depended on what was in the bill, but what was in the bill was getting Similac to some yeah, babies. It's, it's, well, the, the bill said we're going to give $28 million to an emergency funding to the Department million. of Health and Human Services. Mooch could cut to, that check today. Uh, basically, to work on the flow of uh, baby formula. That's yeah. it. There was, now, I always, like I told Kenny, I try to read the bills before I comment on them because right. lots of times people will say, oh, look, they voted against the Voting Rights Act. They're against voting rights. And this is just mm -hmm. a made up example, right? Yeah. But somewhere buried in the bill is the thing that says, by the way, you have to be a registered Democrat in order to vote. Well, of course, you'd never vote for that bill if you're a Republican. There's a, right. you know, well, right. So, so there's the, the, they would put things in the and bill. And many times both sides will bury shit in the bill. Yeah. And there's stuff buried through. in there. Like the, the abortion, the Roe versus Wade bill that was up last week, mm -hmm. there was two sections of it. One of them was very reasonable. The next mm -hmm. section was very vague and could possibly be interpreted to say you can't ban abortions for any reason at any time. That means up to right pre-birth. To and, and, and there's a lot of states already want that. There's a lot of states that already want no exemptions. If your 12-year-old daughter was raped by Uncle Bill, no, no, well, she's no, having were, that kid. This was a, a bill that would allow it, allow abortion for any reason up at any point prior to uh, eight, nine months pregnant. You're nine months pregnant. You decide you don't want the baby. Boom. You got the right to an abortion. Yeah. Okay. So now the bill didn't come right out and say that, but the wording was very vague. If I was a senator voting for that, I'd say, nah, take out that section and I'm okay with this bill. Uh, even no matter what my personal. I'm not going to ask you if Stur I'm not going to ask you if Sturgis is a Republican town. I've seen those motorcycle rallies. Yeah. So uh, I right. like to read the bills, but this bill, there was absolutely nothing in it nothing that in it. anyone could object to other than it was $28 million. Why are we spending $28 million? $28 million is a blip on the radar yeah. in Congress. I've, they I they throw more than that. We, we buy jet here. fighters that cost more than $28 million. Oh, Please. God. Shit. More than that. You know, we buy... We we spent twenty eight million dollars on studies of where to build a bridge in Alaska that didn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's you know? right. That Sturgis is not in Michigan. My bad, Mike. You're right. Sturgis is like North Dakota, South Dakota, one of the Dakotas. Yeah, it's the yeah. Dakotas. My that's bad, true. Mike. I didn't mean. I Harley didn't want to do that on you guys. Um, Bishop will never do the show now. Now that I'm bad now, mathing Sturgis, we're not bad mathing Sturgis. We're just bad mathing the people of Sturgis. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> They get they got no control who comes there I'm on the sure, motorcycle. I'm sure Eric would uh, certainly be happy to come back on to our show. Uh, but anyway, so I, I don't understand. I mean, I'd like to hear uh, the votes of the folks who said no, why they are against that. Uh, they can't just be against spending any kind of money because they spend it left and right on the most ridiculous things. And they're you know you can't come back and say, well, we're not spending money on Ukraine or whatever. So. I ain't gonna spend no money on babies. How many billions have we spent on Ukraine so far? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, by, 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 no, hang on. Well, I'm yeah, making a point. Yeah. By part, right. bipartisan, we have spent billions. We're always okay with war on Ukraine because the defense industry owns all of our Congress yeah. people. So yeah, we're always okay with war. But uh, defeat, but I have seen 55 clips of Republicans bitching that it's Biden's fault that we don't have any baby formula. He's right. not the one that had that company get shut down because uh, a few kids died drinking their baby formula. I don't think Biden right. had shit to do with that. He's not the I'm one that renegotiated NAFTA to make tariffs on Canadian baby formula. Yeah. So that it's not or, or, or for uh, worth it for them to bring it in. No, it's come, some of it's coming from Canada. We used to get some from Canada. But now there are tariffs on it that are so high that it's not worth, it's not yeah. economically feasible to bring them in. And so 
let's see, who was it that renegotiated NAFTA just this last? I don't think I don't like it was, I don't think it was, I don't think it was Joe. No, I don't think it was Obama. Well, it wasn't even any of the Bushes. Wasn't any of the Clintons. No, if there's terrorists involved, it was definitely. By the way, I got my first guy. email from Matt Cocksucker today. I, I said from I was going to say Trump? that a lot. No, well, there. See, you guessed. <laughs> yeah, I got my first well, email from him today, wanting wanting some money. Apparently, things you, are getting tough. Things are bad here. I almost sent it to you so we could show it on the air that With Donald this, Trump wrote huge, me today. Huge. Got, got it. Got it. Got it. Got his email address steel. on it. They stole the steel. Oh. Wait, no, they stole. Apparently, the, somebody they, hasn't they done the, the steel. Apparently, somebody hasn't done the research. Apparently, I've done the research. I'm going to make an announcement here, real quick. Uh, as you know, we do everything we can to help as many Filipino families as we can. Uh, once we get Mr. Scaramucci's donation, we're going to be able to help a few more. Um, but, and some of you are watching the show right now. Whenever you write me in my inbox over and over and over and over again, and you say, pick me first, uh, that's not how we do it. <laughs> that's not how we do it. Uh, everybody in here would love to be first. Everybody in here would love to be the first one picked. That's not how it works. And um, there's just, I don't know if it's right or wrong of me to say this, but it, it kind of irks me and puts me the wrong way with people when right. they're begging to be leapfrogged over somebody else that might need it even worse than you do. And um, so I'm going to ask you all yeah. not to do that. And, 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 and none, I'll, none of our regulars here do that. Right now. So. And, and I'll confirm that, you know, Kenny and I have had discussions about, where money has to go and what right. has to be done first. I've even been what overruled do, a couple of times. What can we uh, what can we do? What can we put off for three to five days hoping yeah. that uh, we have a good show? And, 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 or or, or, just, to, right or just to save five bucks on a transfer fee, or if you do it by PayPal, we get hit right. with fees, they get hit with fees, and it just we, we always try to find a way to get them the money there for is, free if we can. There is so much right now from just the folks that we normally regularly yeah. help. Not right. to mention the other folks that some of the, know, hear some about of what people, we do. And, and some of those people can't get all the help they need. Yeah, we've talked no, about that. We've, we've had people, we said, look, we just can't. We can do part of what you need. Obviously, yeah. food comes first, right? Food's well, always going to come top first. Size, uh, those hundred, Medicines those will usually come right second, there. right? Medicines will yeah. usually come second. And then if there's still money at that point, then let's talk about if you need assistance with, Electric. food, with electricity or yeah. water or, if you know, you know, then appliances come down. And sometimes we look at it this way. If we spend a thousand pesos today, what will that save us over which the is next? 20, which is $20. Months? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Or, or whatever the money number is, right? Yeah. If we spend this amount of money today, Will that save us more money in the long run? Uh -huh. Like we did something uh, for ice cream, Jennifer. We got her in that store. We yeah. think that that's going, yes, that was a good chunk of money. Yeah. But it enables her, as long as she's not suffering from a rare mosquito-borne disease, yeah. to, to basically take care of herself, right? We spent money there to prevent having to spend money over, in the over and over and over and over again. So, you know, we had to make those decisions and there's uh, so there's at least four up. houses that we have either built or totally refurbished to where now they don't have to pay rent. Now they don't have to move well, somewhere else more expensive. They don't have to pay rent. They don't have more medicine costs because they're not walking around yeah, in sewage. Sick walking around in sewer water. They don't have to have the tarp replaced on their roof every time yeah. a storm comes blows. through, which is about once a week there, it seems like. It, it feels that way sometimes. So sometimes there's, you know, sometimes I rainy, I think rainy, a house. I think rainy season left for about six weeks there, and now some of the Filipinos are telling me it's raining every day. I think they had there's a not. Drought. I think they had six weeks of non-rainy season. Now rainy season's back. I said, God damn. There you go. And it and it used to not be that way back when I used to date Jenny. There would be about six months where it rained every fucking day, and there'd be six months you'd beg for rain. Now how you can Climate live on that change. ocean and not get a storm? Because you know how Miami is. There, there's sure, rain well, in I mean, Miami, damn near. Hawaii is the same day. time, right? It's, yeah, it's exactly. all that same, every day. Yeah, and you would think the Philippines would be the same way, but apparently, with global warming and the way shit's changing, their their rainy season is changing. And yeah. sometimes you get so much rain, uh, it's it's hard to fucking grow anything. I mean, some things need some rain. Some things don't need rain every motherfucking day in flood level conditions. 
Right. Uh, a lot of people weren't able to grow their rice there this year. Uh, Jenny said and, their farm is just rice grown needs out of water. Life. I mean, you, rice yeah. patties. They it needs they like, they like water. water. When you're but, flooding out rice patties, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's different. Uh, are people just enthralled with us tonight, or does nobody have anything I to say? I think they are uh, either that, or they're just disappointed, crushed that Rico hasn't shown up. Yet. He hasn't shown up yet. Well, I can't control that. He's a he's a, he's an officer of the law. He's and, he's out there beating down private citizens. Or do you think one of them bowed up on him? And we Could may be. not get. Rico I'd love to that. see that. I'd love to see. That. Do you think maybe maybe he can show body cam we, footage? We right can here. show up on cops. I want to see the guy that got got over on Rico. Bad boys, I'd bad like to boys. See that. What you going to do? But now he did write me before the show said he was uh, involved in a couple of cases right now and that he would be with us. Well, let me see if I got any updates. I didn't see anything. Well, let me look. Uh, where's Rico? He blocked me. What the fuck? Oh what no, the he hell? didn't. He didn't block me. It's a joke, people. He did not block me yet. So, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. He hasn't even seen since I told him no problem. I'm on a couple of uh, cases right now. As soon as I get done, I'll get in touch. Okay. Yeah. So he, he's working on a couple of things. I'm sure we will see him before it's over. And when we see him, we're going to make a big announcement that not even he knows about. Not it even he knows about. And I wouldn't know about it if you it weren't for the and, fact that I was so son, excited. You, you, me, and my son. The only reason you know is because you stuck your nose in my business. Wanting That's to right. See that thing. That's what I do as a producer. As producer. How about uh, how about Mooch giving you a shout out early in the show saying, well, your producer says you wear a rug. Did you did you contact the Mooch early and tell him? I no, wear what a rug? I told him is that your chair is sitting on a rug. He just misinterpreted that. It is doing that. It's on a black rug. There's no doubt yeah, about so that. And, and this, has been called a black, this has been called a black or brown rug before. Uh, did we, any of you see the eclipse? I did not because I don't walk out my door much. <laughs> So yeah, Bobby, I, I didn't because the clouds, we were so overcast that you couldn't mm -hmm. see the moon whatsoever at uh, my house of residence, my little abode. Uh, oh, we have a donation that, that Mr. Ryder <laughs> did not tell me about. <laughs> Michigan Mike. Mike. Uh, Michael Ryder with a $35 donation. Thank so you, that Michael, gets us that to, does that get us to 50 Yes. Yeah, now, folks, just because... To just because you can do super thanks does not mean that you have to stop doing super chats. <clears throat> still do those here. Yeah, you still do those too. Because you'll get your name up on the screen and your donation up on the screen yeah. if you do the super chats. And then now, you know you're a good sweet the, the super thanks, not selfish. Only, only you really, I mean, we Kenny sees it, obviously, but only you see the super thanks. No one's going to come to the thing and go, oh, look, um, uh, Eunice Bolin gave a $50 super thanks to Kenny's so, so, we, so we, never, we never see when they do that. Is that correct? You you will see it in your uh, summary page. You can I can show you where that's at. You'll have uh, to show me what a summary page is because I was wondering how we know if anyone does that. Yeah. Well, I can show kick, you. kick me out, Bob, so I can readjust my HDMI cable. It just went. Goodbye, Kenny. It's up to me now. All right. So, folks, did you watch AEW? I did not. I did not watch any AEW because I was watching my Mavericks get their butts kicked. And so, but I heard some exciting things happen. If y'all want to talk about that, feel free to throw your questions up there. I'll see if Kenny's watched it. I'm not sure. Um, any comments on the Scaramucci interview? If you didn't get a chance to watch it live, it is up on the YouTube page. It's, we were talking about making it for members only, but we did make it public so that everyone can get the benefit of that terrific interview. Um, Still waiting to uh, hear back from Rico. He's on the beat, probably be on the beat up with Rico. That's what it probably is. It's it's Rico smashing people down with his baton. I'm back and ten pounds heavier. Um, it's hard to tell. I had some macaroni. I had, I had I had some macaroni salad, a little tater salad, and a little meatloaf at about four o'clock today. So this is the homemade meatloaf, right? This is the stuff. The homemade you meatloaf. I got, I got like ten meals out of that three and a half pound meatloaf I made. Well, that's and not then bad, I bought uh, some macaroni salad at Aldi yesterday, and I got uh, five pounds of this amazing potato salad at Costco for five dollars even, a buck Thank a pound you. for some great potato salad. And uh, let's see here. Um, membership has its privileges, everybody. Um, let's see. I got the MLB 22, the show. 
Uh, what's oh, that's a video game, I guess. It's a video game, yes. Um, uh, remember, I try, guys. If you want just, just to hear how old I am, I quit playing when Triple Play '98 came out. <laughs> I have not played how long? Twenty four years. I haven't touched yeah, that's a, been a while. video game in twenty four fucking years. I love Triple Play '97. I hated Triple Play '98, and I never gave it another. That was chance. it. Now, it was. It looks like you're playing Major League Baseball these days, from what I see, but. Yeah, I'm just no, so I, far out of the video I've, games that I just don't have any interest yeah. in it. I've got the game. Uh, it, this year, for whatever reason, I'm just having a hard time getting into it. Yeah. Um, uh, they do a lot of really fantastic Rico content. gets one day off, and we don't do podcasts that day. If so you, that's why we don't you, get Rico on his day off. I just don't want to spend my entire time playing MLB The Show. I'm very ADHD when it comes to games. I'll play a game for a little bit, then I'll go something else, then I'll go something else. And so I can't just sit there and play one game. There, there, there's that free one. 16 or 18 hours. That um, Anytime I, I don't see can. a profile picture, I get a little suspicious. Especially with a name like that. I mean, Brandon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go, Brandon. Oops. He's, had a, good, he's had a good year. He's, he's had, had a, a good very year. good year. What I've heard People are cheering for that man. They remember for Brandon everywhere is. they go. Remember, the, remember the airline pilot that was stupid enough to do that? Good job the next day. Dumb fuck. Um, yeah, uh, I, I was so thrilled with the Mooch show yesterday. As a matter of fact, somebody that's had the Mooch on several times wrote me and wants to have me on his show. And guess who he's had on his show? She's Mary L. Trump. That's the now, one that guest of it. Now, she follows me on Twitter, but I've never been able to get her on the show. Surely to God, with this guy writing me, telling me what a great show the Anthony Scaramucci show was, he wants to come on my show and mm-hmm. have me on his and I'll be honest with you, he doesn't get that many views. You know, it, wanna... it amazes me sometimes how some guests will show up on mm-hmm. shows that you wouldn't think would be worth would their show time. Up I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, it's like, okay, yeah. you've got, you average 35 views. Why am I going to spend yeah. 30 minutes with you or an hour with you when 35 people see it? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you, you would think even I would be that way. But I, I try to give young up and comers, uh, and the reason I do it is selfish reason. I want to be their number one draw on their show. Many of the sure. podcasts I do, I get the most views because uh, it's not like they're interviewing Stone Cold Steve Austin every week. Well, and the cool thing about our audience is that they travel with you. Yeah, they, they travel with me, and a lot There's of these people, their setting. audience don't travel with them. Yeah, I mean, David Weissman got have very, David can, Weissman's got three hundred and thirty thousand fans and uh, followers, and and next to none of them came over here to watch him. Yeah, well, same thing with uh, the Mooch. Now we did have a guy, the David Barclay guy, who did donate, and even though he didn't have a membership, he did ask a lot of questions. He did donate, and so donations has its privileges too. Yes, some very. By the way, uh, I have some inside information on that, but we'll leave that alone for now. Yeah. All right. But it's amazing um, how many of our guests don't bring their audience with them. Yeah, it's not because, me away. It's not well, because Scar- they don't Scaramucci. tweet. Scaramucci's got a million followers. Yeah, and he tweets out, I'm going to be on this show. Yeah, here. great tweet the show. But listen to this. Know. I went to Mooch FM to watch a show. Because sometimes I get criticized if we've got 30 viewers, 40 viewers. I've been criticized for having 70 live viewers. I went to Mooch FM. Man's got a million followers. Man's one of the most famous people in America. One of the richest people in America. He had he had he had 17 live views on Mooch FM. He's on the goddamn show. I said, you know what? I'm not gonna feel too bad about this. Uh this guy that was he's had Mary Trump, he's had big name senators and congressmen on his show, and I'm looking up and down the list, and there's 10, 20, and 30, 40 views. Yeah, and I'm going, how the fuck can this be? Now, Mary Trump, two years ago, I mean, he's had two years to get this. Over two years, he got seven thousand views with Mary Trump. I'd love to have Mary Trump on the show. So I'm going to try to get Mooch to put in a good word for me. And this uh, new guy, I'm not going to reveal his name yet until we set up the date to have him on the show. Uh, I don't care. What have, are you interesting? And he's a, he's a New Yorker. Forget about it. He's one of those I, New Yorkers. I did, I did have one question that I wanted to ask him. Well, you um, had the Because I've got this theory. Well, technically I did, you I didn't because he had another show to do at 3 o'clock. Yeah, he was jumping in. Kenny brought me on it like three seconds before Mooch had to leave. but. <laughs> But you're the one fucking of the things producer. I, you're going to pop in any time. Well, you know, I try not to be that kind of guy. Mm. So uh, um, one of the things I've noticed about New Yorkers as a whole is if you're a Yankees fan, you tend to be a Giants 
And then if you follow basketball, the Knicks, and if you follow hockey, you're the Rangers. So, but if you like the Yankees, you almost invariably like the Giants. If you like the Mets, you almost invariably like the Jets. Mm-hmm. And I'm just yeah, wondering but- if there's some sort of a, you know, divisional thing there where if you're only in Brooklyn, you can only. I, to- I told his yeah. office that I would like to get him back on. Uh, I haven't told him personally yet, but I did tell the office because uh, they schedule a lot of his appearances. And I said, I'd love to. I said, we went over a year without the mooch on. Let's not do. And he said on the show, we're not going to do that. You know, we're, I'm not staying gone for a year. Um, we're going to try to get him on about every three to four months. And we will put that at the top of the list of shit to cover. What is this? Uh, Cause you're right. That, that does seem to be how that lines up. It could be a geographical thing of where you were raised. It could be. Now, or now just uh, like, Mo- 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 is, Mo- is, is Mooch Long Island, Brooklyn? Where, where's Mooch? I'm not sure. I think he's probably in Manhattan now. But Manhattan? Well, well now. But I, mean, yeah, I don't know where he when his, when his mother come over here as an immigrant. Came over from Italy. I don't think she's Trump's wife Manhattan. was an escort. That's how he met her. And, and Anthony Scaramucci said it best <laughs> briefly after the breakup of Trump and Mooch that he says I got some credit for. Um, Donald All Trump right. has never known a love that he didn't pay for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I mean, it's true. If, unless Luch you is from Long Island. out of him, you yeah. know, look at, and that goes for all these senators and congressmen and everybody else. But yeah, I was blown away to see that 191 Republicans said, nah, we don't need any baby formula. Fuck those kids. Yeah. yeah. Anthony and and they ran a clip. They ran a clip on MSNBC at 630 tonight. I wish I could play on the Ari Melber show. Mm-hmm. Comes on MSNBC. And I love him. He, he makes rap references and he's just a cool host. I really like him. And he made, he, he wrote a George Carlin clip. And he says, the, and these and these goddamn conservatives, these Republicans, all they're they they're all worried about you from from day of conception till nine months old. After that, after you drop out of the womb, fuck you, get out of here. We got nothing for you. Daycare, fuck you. Uh, 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 public school, public schooling, fuck you. Free public schooling, uh, free daycare, fuck you. Food stamps, fuck you. No, once the day you come out, fuck you. We don't. It's a whole George Carlin yeah. bit about how Republicans feel, especially elected Republicans feel about uh the kid once he comes but before he gets here oh yeah. fuck it. Well, what's more almost and more then, amazing and, then, than and the- then they showed a list of all the people that that are against abortion there's been 11 murders x number of uh bombings x number of uh assaults and attack it was just this long list and and, and samantha b had done that bit pointing out all the violence done by pro-lifers of all the death they've called trying to make sure that babies are born that we're not going to have shit to do with once they're born. So I'd love to be able to roll those clips. I'll see if I can get permission to do it. Yeah. The the other bill, there were actually two bills that were in front of the house. The bill that uh, you were talking about earlier, where 192 voted against the $28 million. Yeah. There was another bill yesterday (laughs) that allowed folks who get WIC, which is the food stamps, right? It's use, a, ver- a WIC is a version of it. WIC is mainly for single moms right. or, or young, uh, economically challenged but parents. But to allow them to use WIC to assistance to get baby formula. Well, baby formula is not on the list of things that they can buy. It, it, has, it has been here. Yeah. So there was a bill that said, let's allow baby formula to go on WIC. Mm-hmm. It passed the House 414 to 9. Okay, that's pretty good numbers. There's nine assholes there, but okay. So nine, but still nine Republicans decided, you know what? We won't let you spend yeah. your money on your baby. Yeah. Uh, Bill Bill says they allow it in Indiana as well. I do remember, my sister was on WIC, and I do remember her getting baby formula when she was on WIC. Maybe some states prevent it. Um, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware that they, but also WIC lets you get milk. And and uh, things that are needed to help raise a baby, not diapers, right. of course. Fuck that. Uh, right. You you hand wash those motherfuckers. But uh, but Wick was mainly made to get stuff, the uh, baby food, I guess, anything a baby would need. Why formula right. wouldn't be on there? I'll never know. And here's right. my uneducated uh, stance on this. Uh, and I talked to Chris about it. And 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 before I even tell you what I said, he says, "Well, Dad, we have the greatest." Uh, birth death rate of probably most any country around. And uh, even and, and, and not necessarily due to whether you get baby formula or not, but just due to the lack of care that so many of our uh, young people get. 
or, or even eligible for. But um, where was that going? Yeah, actually, what, what oh, I said, I said, what the hell? I said, what the hell do we do before baby? We haven't always had baby formula. Right. A lot of people came before baby formula. And he said, yeah, and there's a lot of fucking infant death too, uh, because not. Oh. And, and of course, with adopted parents, they can't breastfeed. So that, that's what they're telling you. We'll just breastfeed. You got this whole problem solved. Well, if you're adopted, you can't be breastfed. Sometimes there's an immune deficiency. You can't breastfeed. Uh, there were various reasons why you can't do that. Gay adoption. Well, they shouldn't be adopted anyway. They're gay. They're lesbian. They shouldn't have kids. So so Bill is right. Nankin's a formula month. Uh, the, what the bill was, uh, the, yeah. the bill before Congress was to allow them to expand that, to buy more there than you nine go. cans. There you so go. It, mm -hmm. That was, I, I had to reread that. Nine Republicans voted against it. Let me just <laughs> let you guess. Oh, you want me to guess? On. Uh, just, they were congressmen, right? These are all U.S. Uh, representatives. See, yeah. Madison Cawthorn got voted out. Was he allowed to have a vote? He's he's still in Congress, but he did not vote no. no he did he didn't vote, vote no. Good old no. 25 year old Madison. Uh, yeah. Marjorie Taylor Greene. Marjorie Taylor Greene. She voted did no. Vote no, yes. Okay. Uh, Matt Gates voted no. Matt Gates voted no. Okay. Uh, Ted Cruz is a senator, so that wouldn't count. Um, uh, okay, but this douchebag uh, who one of these days I'm going to get an opportunity. I'm not a violent man. One of these days I'm going to meet Rand Paul. Rand Paul's he, a he, senator, he, so that would not have been. Oh, he's a senator. That's right. He's a senator. I'm still I'm still going to one still day gonna I'm gonna beat, beat Rand Paul. Okay. I didn't right. say I was going to beat him up. You said that. I just beat one day him. I'm going to meet him. Mm -hmm. You assume you assume something there, no, Bob. This I, is verbally. I meant verbally beat him up. Oh, you verbally. Beat, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to verbally beat him up. That's what I'm no, going to do. You would never physically assault anybody. So no, yeah, you got me. three of them so far. Matt Gates. Uh, uh, the Green. bad thing is, is I don't know as many douchebag congressmen as I know douchebag senators. Well, there is, of course, the doorknob from Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think of his name, but I know who you're talking Her about. Her name, Lauren Bobert. Oh, oh, Lauren Bobert. Yeah, no, no yeah, way she there, voted. There is the Lauren doorknob Boba from Fett. Kentucky. Uh, congressman from Kentucky. Uh, I know our senators, obviously, congressman. Uh, what, what's the congressman from Kentucky? It's Thomas Massey. Thomas, uh, yeah, and he, he's he been a douchebag ever since he's been there. Yeah. Um, the others that you might, well, you've heard of Louis Gohmert. He's the, oh, yeah, Louis Gohmert, Texas, Texas more. right? Yeah. Chip yeah, Lloyd Gohmert, is also Texas. From Texas. Yeah, that stupid fuck. Uh, Paul Gosar from Arizona. And for, for some reason, I had it in my head that Gosart was from Texas as well, but he's Arizona. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gosart's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Gosart's a man. And then Clay Higgins from Louisiana was the other. And but Clay, uh, I knew I knew Louisiana had a couple of buffoons, but I could not think of his name. So, yeah, but but you so, know you knew the big one. You knew that. Uh, and they do it because and and it's McConnell's fault. It's Mitch McConnell's fault because he always says we're not going to do anything to help Democrats. Well, everything's fucked from the beginning. And I'm not going to say the right. Democrats don't try to do that with the Republicans either, but you're much more likely going to get a Democrat to cross the aisle than you are a Republican. Unlike uh, what happened with, uh, and you heard uh, who was Mooch saying so many nice things about yesterday, the, the one that's on the January 6th committee. Liz Cheney and uh, Kinzinger. Kinzinger, yeah, Kinzinger yeah. was who I was drawing to blank on. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Griffin, Kensinger's not running again. They Andy actually Griffin, you told me that you were going to get a badge on YouTube after you made your twenty five dollar donation, but here you are freeloading on Facebook again. I think Andy that means Griffin, it's time to turn off Facebook. It, it's getting. It's, it might be getting to that point. It just yeah. might be getting so, to that point. So, uh, Lindsay, we've not talked about Stephanie McMahon taking time away. No, no, we need to get to that because I didn't know this. This is news. And by the I, way, I did watch AEW. And I, I'd love to talk about some of that. As a couple of donations wouldn't hurt. Yeah, I haven't watched the EW yet, so uh, I probably won't. I might have to be here till midnight waiting on fucking Rico to yeah. break up a crime or something. Um, we are ready for you whenever you are, buddy. Okay, now he's at least read my message now, so maybe things are getting better for him. All right, he's at least read the message. Hang, hang in there, Jana. Yeah, Jana's so a big Rico. It. Jana's a big Rico she fan. She is. She's just... You. I usually do... Pay well, you could usually just get a fucking badge, too. And you don't usually do PayPal. I have to be... Three get you to do dollars. That. I have to... Yes, yeah, three dollars, Alabama. Three dollars, Auburn. He's he's not Auburn. He's Alabama. He's he he did buy some Alabama headphones. He's been in my house. Andy Griffin's been in my house. 
Southeast Texas State of college football. I usually do PayPal. I, uh, well, I used to do PayPal. Mm-hmm. So when's the last time you did PayPal, Andy? Just ask me. He actually did, I think, a week or two ago. Okay, well, fine. <laughs> he, he donated 20, 25 bucks, I think. Yeah. He did do that. He could do it um, again. He's, he's rich, man. He's motherfuckers loaded. I know you have lots of contacts in the WWE, Kenny. Who talked to I you do. Yeah. So what are they telling you about Sasha Banks? And um, So far, everybody's been pretty mum on that. Um, a lot of people do not think that she's going to be, that either one of them are going to be released. And here's the other talk from, it, from insiders that I'm hearing from. They think because that, that Naomi is uh, married to one of those Usos that big Roman's going to walk into the office and say, Hey, shit's going to change. What's Naomi want? Give it to her. <laughs> a lot of people thinking that, that, that somehow Roman is going to be involved before this shit. Uh, uh, yeah, the, they say they're not going to be released because the last thing that wants to do. Sure. Is don't Sasha. That precedent. And Sasha's one of those that might tell you, you can take your 90 days and shove it because uh, Brock Lesnar told people that, and he won in court. Right. Uh, Brock Lesnar once uh, was told he oh, couldn't do that. He's no, I need to do this to fucking make a living. I'm going to one of these, motherfucker. One of these days, someone's the going to, yeah, they're going to fight that non compete clause because yeah. if you're truly an independent contractor, they cannot put a non compete on. Well, you. actually, they can, and I'll tell you why because they're okay. paying you that's for that why. 90 days. Well, that's they're, true. Now, if they're paying, they're paying true. you for that 90 days. Uh, even when Rico got released, he had 90 days, and, and that's when Stone Cold Steve Austin said, Hey, you're paying him anyway. Bring him up. If you're paying him, let's see what he's got. In 90 days, make a decision then. Let's not make a decision based but because you just found out he's 40 years old. Let's bring him up. So so they can't, as long as they're paying you, they, they, they can tell you, no, you're under contract to us. We're still paying you, motherfucker. So they can. How Brock got out of it, I don't know. But Brock said, fuck you, I'm going to Japan. All right. We have an invasion over there at the house. Um, so no, I do. Um, I was hoping it was a work because I thought somebody in, in booking was very good at what they were doing and said, man, this would be cool. But of course, if the WWE done it, there'd have been cameras back there, the belts being thrown on Laronitis's desk and, you know, maybe some cursing going on. Um, but when that didn't happen, that pretty much told you, cause there's no way WWE would have done that and just rely on the announcers to be able to carry the story. So yeah, they're really pissed. Do they have a right to be pissed? I mean, some people have pointed out, well, you agreed to the contract you're working under. You're on television every week. Sasha has took her ball and gone home a couple of times. Uh, rumor has it uh, that she got COVID once because she was an anti-vaxxer. Some people did not want to work with her not being vaccinated. And uh, and of course, once she got COVID, she couldn't be around all the others. And that got her some time off. And then I hear she took her ball and went home for a little while. Uh, But Ric Flair's took his ball and went home before. I remember Cornette telling me that he was over at Ric Flair's house once. And there was just a stack of checks from WCW on his uh, coffee table that were uncashed. That's how that's how financially secure that man was during that time is that uh, he had stacks of checks on his coffee table. That he hadn't even cashed. I guess that was before the days of direct deposit, because that, that was going back into the probably the mid '80s, I guess. But Flair was uh, he was having a dispute with the uh, Crockett Promotions. Uh, didn't like how shit was going, and uh, I guess he didn't cash his checks because he didn't want to be obligated. I'm sure he cashed them eventually, and I'm sure he wishes he had them now. You only get six months to cash those checks. So um, so get your shit in, guys. We're hoping to see if Rico is going to be. Able to, he he gave me an okay, so I guess he's going to get in here eventually. Bob Sorry about that. Bob now we had some. Bob I had Sidney. some. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I had uh, some. Sidney. You go. You go. I'm going to stop. Oh no, I insist. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go. I had some guy claiming to be a Las Vegas cop banging on the door, wanting to use my phone to call him no. on podcast. I told him. Oh bullshit! No, I hope you send him away. I told him to fuck himself. Bullshit! Yeah, there you go. Bob bowing up with a little fuck yourself. He's in a mood. Um, cash them checks exactly. Um, now I forgot what I was gonna say. You want me to send somebody to something? Oh, something well, uh, uh, send Rico because sometimes he gets lost uh, as far as where those join links are. Do you want to send Americo another join link? I will do that, and uh, that way we'll have it right there in front of him. And uh, and he might still be involved on in it because he just wrote back. I said, we're, we're waiting on you, buddy, and he wrote back okay. So if he weren't coming, I'm sure he would tell me. And then we have a big announcement. 
I don't think a lot of people want to hear that announcement, to be honest with you. I think people are afraid of that announcement. They could be. They could be terrified of it. Um, no, Andy, I mean, Andy, go on YouTube right now and get a badge. Dro- drop three fucking dollars a month and support the show and get a badge. I like to use PayPal. We'll use PayPal again. You're it's rich. A, well, yeah, you can use PayPal to get a membership. You could do that. I've heard that. I've heard that. I heard it works that yeah. way. Um, Michigan Mike was thrilled when I got rid of somebody in here tonight. Yes. That, well, you know, they, they, you throw them a little rope. You let them have a little more some, rope. Some, some, sometimes a lot of rope. A little more rope. <laughs> and sometimes they don't need any rope. As sometimes they need someone no rope. at the very start of the show proved. <laughs> well, you uh, do you know who that person is or was? Oh, I'm sure it was um, the Indian, yeah, uh, Indian. Old, old, old Oldham County friend of mine that I went off on on this show. Yeah. And I I, for, I, know, I already forgot what it was over, but I just knew I was pissed and he'd never be back. So he yeah. tried to slide in here tonight a couple, three months later, because apparently I never blocked that person here. Uh, and me too, he's doing the most. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, I don't what, what? What did I miss? He, he's he's probably responding to something I just yes, said. Yes, I right? was. I don't. Oh, oh yeah, he yeah. doesn't. He doesn't let. Uh, he he's happy that someone's gone, and he doesn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got you. I got you. Whatever, whatever. How's uh, how, how's your buddy doing? How's Harry doing? We haven't heard from Harry in quite some time. But then again, Harry um, made an investment here a while back. And Mike, how's your car doing, Mike? How's that? How's that Cadillac doing? Twenty third. Uh, I think he said. I forgot what year he said it was, but he got a great buy. I think he said a twenty thirteen. I think. My 03 is doing better. I told you all that car was dead, would never be seen or heard from again. But uh, I got an $8,000 estimate from a couple of mechanics. And then I took it to my Miss Reliable. Oh, as a matter of fact, she told me to plug her tonight. Audubon, uh, Audubon Service Center on, um, hang on. Hey, Google, what's the address for Audubon Service Center? The address for Audubon Service Center is 3030 Poplar Level Road, Louisville, Kentucky, 40217. If you have car needs in the Louisville, Kentucky area, go to Audubon Service Center at 3030 Poplar Level Road here in Louisville, Kentucky. Originally referred to me by a a former uh, co-host on this show that has his allegiances with someone else right now, so we don't have him on the show anymore, but we still speak. Tell him Kenny Boland sent you. And yeah, tell him Kenny Bowen sent you. Yeah. If next time Kenny brings his car in, he deserves a huge discount for sending. I certainly do. I certainly do. She. I tell you what, man. After hearing those eight thousand dollar estimates, five thousand dollar estimates, the lowest estimate I got was four grand. That was just on the transmission alone. Yeah. She got me out for a grand total of six hundred and forty bucks. Her and the and the, and the muffler place that she referred me to, uh, that replaced the entire exhaust system. And uh, as Chris said on the way home, it's driving like a new car. <laughs> That's the Shut Rico, up. Rico says he is still knee deep in work. So, oh, he's knee deep. He's oh. knee deep. Yes. Well, so we may or may not deep. have him. We're gonna we're gonna give him to eleven o'clock to see if he gets here. I, I'm sorry, Jana. I didn't mean to false advertise. Of course, no. then again, I false advertised Scaramucci one week, and then uh, we had him the next one. Just a little COVID got in the way. Yeah, Rico's got COVID. Well, Rico's already had COVID, so we can't even. No, use that COVID excuse. got in the way of Scaramucci. Well, no, Rico had COVID too a while back. Well, true, but that's not why he's not on the show tonight. It's not why he can't. We, we don't know that. He might be knee deep in COVID. Again. He might be knee deep in COVID. He might be surrounded like Jimmy, by COVID. He, he, he might be like Jimmy Kimmel and and uh, and uh, uh, apologies to COVID. Yeah, for Stephen Colbert's pissed. pissed because uh, Jimmy Kimmel got COVID twice in two weeks. He had COVID. He was out a week. Had that replacement comedian come in that a lot of people liked. He came back for a week, and then he tested positive for COVID a week later. I've never heard of that. I'm starting to sound like Tucker. Why would you get COVID? <laughs> the, why would you, uh, the, why the, would the, you get it twice in three weeks? What is yeah, up with that? What's up with that? Is it really COVID? Does he have a hangnail? That is the whole Tucker Carlson show. It's all questions. So that they can't. T- well, I didn't say it. I just asked the question. I'm not saying. I'm just asking the questions. I just is, asking the question. Why wouldn't we? Is Bob, that those is Bob people, people would in? infected with some disease? Yes, <laughs> probably. Why? Why? Timmy Lee, why are okay. these black people coming to our country if they don't want to replace the white people? Yeah. Why would they come here if they're not looking to replace the white people? Why would they? That's right. <laughs> 
Well, I, I mean, didn't say all, they were. I just said, why would certain administration alone only allowed white people to come in? Why would Mexicans come here if they didn't want to force us to eat their food? So, you know, just whatever. Just whatever. I mean, well, well I just asked a, a question. There's a I Taco Bell on every corner. It's got to be a result. And there, there's got to be something to it. There's got to be something to it. I'm not um, saying that there is. Chris says you cannot find be. good Mexi- Mexican food to save your fucking life. He said it's just absolutely abysmal to try and well, find good Mexican food in Germany. There is. And by I the way, would, Taco Bell is not allowed in Germany. You know why? Because they're owned by PepsiCo? No, because they use shit it's meat. The and they, 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 Taco Bell could not succeed in Germany because the qualifications for the meat would be, the, the level would be raised too high. And uh, they will not approve the, the quality of meat they use. Interesting. And um, so you, you can't even get a Taco Bell there. That makes you wonder. No, don't even, don't, no, don't it's even. it's not going up. It's not going don't up. Even, don't even, don't even. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you know, that's there, almost, but, you know what, Kenny? Mm-hmm. That, that's worth the timeout. Bragging about not having. Bragging. Bragging. Timed out. Well, well so now, there you now. go. Yeah, he's, he's mad now. Not a block. Just a not timeout. Block, just timeout for corner. bragging. Motivating others not to badge up. It's like trying to encourage people not to get vaccinated. That's right. Only more deadly because not having well, a badge. It's way more deadly. It's way more deadly. You. It, it can kill you. It, it can kill you. Never fact, come in here you know what? bragging about not having a badge. Uh, let me just see. Art monkey. Barbara Mandrell, not Barbara Mandrell. Uh, Naomi Judd. I actually, I actually sold. Did not have Mandrell a badge. Cookware. Who didn't have a badge? Naomi Judd. She did not. Mama Judd. She did not have Mama a badge. Judd. And look Mama what Judd. happened to her. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, the Undertaker is banned from this show. I forgot why we ban him, but he's banned. Why didn't we ban The Undertaker? It was Trump-related, I'm pretty sure. It, oh, yeah, yeah. He donated I, He donated $75,000 to the Trump campaign. Oh, my. Why? Oh, yeah, I did. Why? Okay, so. Why? And if you're buying his shit, why would you donate to a person you think is a multi-billionaire who said he was going to finance his own campaign and never paid a penny for it? Why would you let them lie to you? Well, I'm going to finance this podcast. I'll never take a donation. And then I'm on here taking donations. Why would you donate if I'm told you I'm a multimillionaire or billionaire and I don't need you? And then I start asking for your donations and don't honor what I told you and lie about my wealth. Oh, by the way, I need your $5, your $10, your $2. See, I never lied to you. That's why y'all donate. Yeah, we're poor here. That's why we're poor. Well, Kenny, if I said the name Vangelis, who would you would you know what that name is? If you said the name what? Vangelis. I'd say you need to go to the doctor. Uh, no, I don't know who that is. He's the composer for Chariots of Fire. I do know the song very well. Yeah, know the song very well. Dead at 79. Oh, he passed died away today? today. Yeah. Well, that's sad news. That is sad. He did not have a badge either. My great-grandfather walked over here from Mexico in 1900. Saying. Well, you sure he didn't drive over here in an Opal Cadet? I think he he didn't go in a in a Chevrolet Nova because they wouldn't sell them in Mexico. My great great they tried to sell them. My I think great, he means great great grandfather would would yeah, be the my, termination. Well, of course, maybe it's just, just his, or his, maybe he yeah, just really yeah. liked his father, and his father's yeah, really his old. Father's really really old. He's just yeah, his father's he, really he old. So he's great great. Guy. I mean, think about it. If he came across in 1900, that would make him. 200 and, or 122 that's pretty yeah. great that's a pretty great accomplishment right. for someone to be 100 now what was he legal or do we do do we have paperwork back your then 120? well back if he then, walked he had to be at least two year a uh, year old right yeah also so, i don't think we had immigration restrictions back then they started right. in our country later on oh was it was it was it post 1900 I think I, I I believe so, but let me. So Jesus didn't have shit to do with border borders then, is what Jesus you're did not worry about borders. I, I they, don't they, think I you know. Don't there's think, he was. I don't he think actually he founded it. an organization, Messiahs Against Borders. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he. Um, I don't think he uh, made the map with borders on it. I don't think he did that. No, As, I'm just guessing. When God made the globe, I don't think it had borders. And names, Just water and land, water and land. Come ye, come all. Only borders. How about Mooch quoting the Statue of Liberty for me? And like me, come had to ye. look it up. Yeah, come all ye faithful. <laughs> come all ye. I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, 
Well, Rico may or may not make it. Uh, he says he's knee deep. If he's ankle deep, I'd, I'd be holding out some hope. So I guess we have to make the announcement anyway. We will do it before the 11 o'clock hour with or without Rico. We will do that. Uh, so he, so Sean McAllister's father is great. Real great. He's great, great. Not just about great. A, about, a, about at a year old, he, he walked over. Oh, we're getting a father contest now. <laughs> Let's see what we got. My great grandfather was a bastard child of Navajo Indian and was on gun smoke. His name was Quint. I know who Quint the blacksmith is. You think you're going to drop gun smoke shit on me? <laughs> In other words, he's saying his father was Burt Reynolds. That's what he's That's saying. Right. Yeah. Burt Reynolds. Was a, don't drop gun smoke shit on me because dog, you ain't that wise. If you think you're going to slide gun smoke shit on me. Do you remember when Quint wrestled Festus? Do you remember who won that match? Uh, I, I don't remember who won that match. I do remember Quint being the mighty Eskimo and Bob Dylan singing about him, though. <laughs> was he? No, Quint was Indian, and and Festus loved to wrestle Indians. He he was a he. Matter of fact, his first ever episode, Festus wasn't a dumb fuck. He was he was a he was a tough redneck, and uh, he loved to wrestle. And and you didn't fuck with Festus. The early the early introduction of Festus on Gunsmoke was a whole different character than what showed up taking the place of um, of um, Dennis Weaver. Dennis See, Weaver. I got we got Dennis Weaver shit going. Cloud. Yeah, why was I? I knew it'd get you going. Yeah, don't you don't you dare fucking drop Gunsmoke shit on me. So here's. I don't know if Kenny froze up or if I froze up. Talk in the chat, please, folks, if you can hear me, because I think Kenny has frozen up. Yeah, there, are, there are many people saying that I'm a multimillionaire, but it's under my bed and I can't bend over to get it, so it don't matter. Uh, hey, you ain't going to stump me on fucking Bonanza either. You I ain't going to stump me on the rifle. I think you ain't gonna... the Big Valley. It would, might now, be the Big the Valley only... you can stump me on because uh, that was in my very early childhood black and white days. And then once the reruns hit, Big Valley was on them. But uh, but the Big Valley, the High Chaparral, which all shows that I enjoyed. I always loved the westerns. Uh, don't know why. Um, That's true. But probably because it was all on fucking you remember, television. You remember YouTube Branded, videos. right? Branded, scorned as the man who ran. What do yep. you do when you're branded and you know you're a man? Starring Chuck fucking Connors. And of I think course. it only ran one or two seasons. Yes. Check the season. It was one or two. I was broken heart. I love Branded. But I was mad that he, he used that fucking broken sword instead of a goddamn rifle to settle up with people. I am Cherokee on my mother's side. I am one fourth Cherokee, um, and uh, I'm one, I'm also one quarter German on my uh, KKK supporting uh, biological father's side. The other two half seasons, I got no fucking clue. Yeah, two seasons, forty eight total episodes, thirteen in black and white. Oh, it, it did go. It, yeah, I remember. I remember when it went color. I remember when it went color. Um, and it seems like there was an episode of Branded that starred somebody that was also in a, God, you know what? I think Mark starred on one episode of Branded. Uh, what was his real name? He died recently, I think. Uh, he, um, and he was an opera singer. Uh, what was his name? Uh, the Mark, uh, McCain, what was his name? I know it as well as I know Chuck Connors. Uh, Mark remember. McCain was played by Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Johnny Crawford. Johnny Crawford. Yeah, Johnny Crawford starred on one episode of Branded, if I remember correctly, but it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. I remember doing this. Uh, man, I, I would there, adopt there. you, son, but you really need someone with yeah. with a more uh, just specialized. Uh, uh, as a matter Burgess of fact, I did, I, uh, Burgess Meredith. I, I did an episode on OVW the, where the whole promo was featured upon how bad the Indians mistreated Hop Singh. And how they scalped him and just abused him and anal raped him. It was just a whole promo of how the Indians abused Hop Singh on uh, one of my promos. And Jimmy said it was one of the greatest promos. Because I was standing there believing every word Bowling was saying. I was feeling bad for Hop Singh at what the Indians had done to him. And it was just me making up shit. James Ernest had a mean backhand now. He, he bitch slapped you in a heartbeat, he would. James Ernest didn't say... Will you be on the? I've been told I'm going to be on their show, and I've been told they're doing mine. 
We have not pinned down the days yet. As a matter of fact, Disco Inferno uh, tweeted me today because he said that I could currently be in the starting lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. I said, if I could get a pinch runner, probably. Um, let's see here. Do they give pinch runners starting at home plate? That's where I would need it at. You know, once yeah, well, contact or you could just hit made, the home run and not worry about it. Well, I could do that. I could just guarantee a homer every time at bat. So we, we could do that. Um, All right. I was looking at major U.S. immigration laws. Yeah. Um, they did yeah, have laws. Did that shit start? Yeah, so in, in – 1882, they started restricting uh, some people. The law further establishes the U.S. will uh, not allow anyone who's a convict, lunatic, person idiot, or person unable, unable to take care of themselves. Yeah. Uh, the Chinese Exclusion Act uh, was in 1882, so they started restricting who could come in from China. Uh, in 1888, they uh, further restricted Chinese immigrations by prohibiting lawfully residing Chinese nationals who leave from coming back. Um, let's yeah. see. The, uh, in 1892, Congress passes the Act to Prohibit the Coming of Chinese Persons into the United States. So a lot of this hatred started with the Chinese, it seems. Well, we did hate the Chinese quite well. You know, if you ever watched Kung Fu, you would know. I did watch you. Kung Fu. You want to you yeah. go with me on that? David no, Carradine, I huh? I don't want to go with you on any television show ever. <laughs> except, maybe, uh, except maybe Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad. Well, you got me You got me on both of those. Uh, I did love uh, Kung Fu. That was three channel days. Planet yeah. of the Apes was another one of my favorites. The Night Stalker was the fucking the Night best. Stalker was great. great. One of the, the greatest theme songs ever. The we we got to have, the have theme song show night. We haven't done it. Yeah, well, I've got to figure out how to make how to play them. Um, well, well, we'll probably that's probably would take a day to just set up maybe twenty theme songs and right and and go from there. I guess uh, in 1921, the Emergency Quota Act uh, attempted to regulate immigration by setting admission quotas based on nationality. Um, do, do 1924, two percent of the each nationality's proportion. Of force, so basically, like if you're if more than two percent, so if you were Chinese, however many Chinese were in America, only two percent could come in. If you were Mexican, so in 1942, we've been dicks for a long time. Yeah, we have. In 1942, we had the 1942 Bracero Agreement allowing Mexican nationals to enter the U.S. Maybe we can schedule you over to the serve as temporary agriculture workers. Uh, so we no actually problem. had an act in 1942 that encouraged Mexican folks to come to the u.s the 1945 right. war brides act 1952 really is when the the hate against the entire world started to happen and then mm -hmm. uh 1962 kennedy signs the migration and refugee assistant act which lets us bring in cubans who are fleeing communism um Pretty yeah, much. yeah, yeah really, shame it, it, those, until 1986. Shame, shame, shame on those Cubans fleeing uh, communism. Shame on them. Yeah, yeah. Until 1986, pretty much there was not. I mean, it was like you had to be Chinese or coming from some Asian country to be banned up until the mid 70s, mid 80s, and then we started getting more worried about our southern border even though we actually passed the law in 1945 of letting them come in because we needed them to come in and pick our agriculture. Well, unfortunately I got some bad news. Uh, Jana, Jana, Rico's biggest fan has donated $25 and, and I feel uh, Jana, I'll send you your money back if you want me to. I know she's well, let's do, to hold on. Let's do this there. That's a, that is a substitute for Rico. On the beat we'll with the, the oh, yeah. well, you had that ready. God that, damn it! That's the that's the closest uh, I, we're going to get tonight. I think. Huh? I just got word from Rico that he is still knee deep in uh, in bullshit that he's dealing with, and he unfortunately is not going to be able to make it tonight. So, for those of you that tuned in to see Rico once again, we have false advertised on this show, and that's Rico is apparently not going to be able to make it tonight. But hey, he I might show up next the, week. We got to run the and I would hope he shows up next week because I guess it's time to make the big announcement. 
And how, how what are we doing in donations right now? Because we got to get we got to get a little bit more on what we got. We got at least fifty bucks. We have the two the well, two we PayPal donations. We, we got seventy five. Oh, Jana's right. Jana donated twenty five. So yeah. We got seventy five. Twenty five more dollars will let us come very close to being able to feed two families. Once we get twenty five, I'd like forty five because I know that'll do. One it. one family in uh, Eunice's door, maybe. Yeah, and Eunice's door. We got just enough for one family, Eunice's door, and some screens to keep her from getting some uh, bug infested disease. Yeah, we don't uh, need more dengue fever. We don't need any more of that because I just I'm just now learning out what that fever is. Uh, has your friend so has, Mark Cuban ever invited you to a? Well, of course he has. I've got video at a Dallas Mavericks game. I'm on the court with him. I me and me and uh, John Cena did the shoot around. Maybe uh, not to drop time John in Cena. Dallas. Not you, to drop John Cena's together. name or anything, but uh, no, yeah, John me and John Cena. Yeah, but just just Google, uh, just YouTube search Kenny Bolin, Mark Cuban, and John Cena, and you will see us on the court at the Pacer game. Um, no, I can go to any Mavericks game I want, but Bob, maybe I can pull some strings. Do you you want to go to a Mavericks game? I would playoffs might be a little hard. I'd playoffs love to go to a playoffs. Good. Now I've actually gone to a couple of Mavericks games. One where I met Mark Cuban. Did you actually I, get to meet him? I, I won a contest, AT and T or something, and it was like, or you, or you lost Cuban. the contest. Maybe, maybe Mark was going to. Maybe that, that. Well, Mark lost the contest and had to meet me. Maybe, maybe I think Mark lost the contest. Yeah, yeah you got to so, meet Bob Hazelwood. Who? All right. Yeah, well, he's all like, right. Damn it! So we uh, we go to the we go to the arena and they say, you "Meet us at this section and outside," and we'll okay. So I've got my tickets, but I'm going to the section and I'm waiting for the person to show up waiting 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 we wait like 15 minutes nobody gets there so we're like screw it let's just go get our seats so we go to our yeah. seats um about uh 15 minutes before tip off someone comes to me and says did you win a ticket thing did you guys win these tickets i said yeah i got them from at&t a contest and they go okay well i'm the representative will take you down on the court to meet mark cuban so they took us down on court we get to meet mark cuban I'm stunned how tall Mark is, right? Because you always see yeah, him he's on like, the he's court. Like, he's never been a six three, six four. Yeah, he's six, six seven. He's big. No, he's no, he's not. Man. He's not six seven. Hang on, yeah, don't like six seven. How much you want to bet? He's not six oh, seven. I don't want to bet anything. I'm going to give him six four. Hey Google, how tall is Mark Cuban? Mark Cuban is six feet two. Inches six two. <laughs> six six seven. Drunk. I thought, drunk. I thought. I thought. I thought. Well, that I'm not going to say that didn't happen. He I'm towered not over us. Uh, I had, I actually had him closer to six, three. He was a good two or three inches taller than me. Yeah. And, uh, but my brother was my brother's six, four. And even he was amazed at how tall Mark Cuban was. Yeah. Cause you always see him with the players, but I will let Mark players. Cuban know that in your eyes, he was six foot he was seven six, and he'll probably man. appreciate that. Yeah. But so yeah, he, we're, we're standing there talking to him and then the Spurs, they're playing San Antonio Spurs. Spurs come Didn't out. you bet me a thousand dollars? He was six seven. Did you bet? Me, did you no, bet much money? <laughs> Five hundred thousand rubles. Oh that was, well, keep uh, that. Fuck you. So uh, it'd be, it'd be an inconvenience to collect it. Yeah, and um, their guys came out and they're walking right past us. And these guys. Now you might have seen some tall. players on the team that were six seven. Yeah, there were definitely guys on the. I bet you one guys. of those guys was packing Mark Cuban. Is my guess. Mike could be. Could be. How about Mooch? How around. about Mooch trying to encourage Cuban to run for president? How about that? That was a. I should have clipped that. That's what I should have clipped. He oh, did, it was just such a short thing. Oh, look, who, look who's in here. Little Jelly Beans is in here wearing her little hoodie. Wearing her little hoodie, little Jelly Beans. Uh, hello, Bob, and to all the viewer listeners. Well, hell, hell. Jelly Bean in here late. She must have slept in today. Yeah, she's so a Tim, jelly bean. Jelly Bean's got to be pushing five, six months pregnant. I guess she's got to be getting up there. Yeah, at Tim, least five. We Tim fine. Duncan walked by that point, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah Tim Duncan. Funny. Tim Duncan's big motherfucker. Now he's every bit of uh, if he ain't six ten. Hang on, yeah, we'll find out. Sure. Hey Google, how tall was Tim Duncan, the NBA player? Tim Duncan is six feet eleven. Six eleven. Yeah, he's big boy. He's, he's big a boy. big man. Now here, here you go, real quick. You can probably answer it. I know I can. Real quickly, who can tell me who Tim Duncan played his college basketball for? Because I know because the motherfucker beat Louisville. Who can without looking it up? Because if you look it up, I'll know. I have that. I have that extra sensor. I got that ESPN. Yeah, that ESP, right? I got the ESPN going. You have there. the ESPN, the Psychic Sports News. It. No, he's not six nine. He's six eleven, uh, according to the Google. Uh, who can tell me where Tim Duncan played his college basketball? Wake All Stars got in there pretty quick. All right, they might have known. They might not have looked it up. 
What do you think, Bob? Uh, I think he, he knew it. I think he All right. It. We will not block either of you tonight for coming in with the correct answer. Now, You're where was he born? Where was he born? Charlotte. <laughs> no. I have no clue. I have no, I don't know where he was born. I just know where he was born. Where? Born in the Virgin Islands. You know what, Serrano? I was going to say Navy at first, but that's David Robinson that paid for Navy. David Robinson was Navy. Well, uh, he wasn't born in the Navy, but he did play for Navy. He was born in the Navy. Yeah, and he could sail the seven seas in the Navy. Yeah, he could do that. Uh, but now yeah, that was David Robinson you're thinking of. Boy, he got in here late tonight with his comments and no badge, he didn't did. he? He did. did. Well, he didn't uh, get up on the screen, though, at least that. No, he didn't. He didn't work us there. No, that's only for the Filipinos. And Jelly Bean, I hear, is a Filipino. Uh, Jelly Bean, how far along are you, my dear? And how are you doing on your medications? Because I've told you not to be shy about letting us know that. I know some of you. you yeah, know, that's but, what's uh, what's funny is that we get some some Filipinos are like Kenny. I absolutely desperately need an Xbox, and then yeah. there's like. Yeah, we've been out of medicine. Well, I, I tell you what, I, I will stop you right there. That is one request I haven't had yet from any Filipino is the Xbox. I want Not an Xbox one first. I, I've had a lot of phone requests. And, and since COVID, that's actually a legitimate request. I used yeah. to shit on that. But since COVID, a lot of these kids learn from home and they, they don't have a way to do they their home or their studies. Too. Now, I've had right. some people ask for laptops. I've had some people ask for full-blown computers. And I've had some people ask uh, for tablets. And uh, I, I had an ex-girlfriend write me the other day and says, JJ wants a tablet. I said, well, JJ's two. So JJ can wait for his fucking tablet with everybody else. When I was yeah. two, I didn't have a tablet. As a matter of fact, when I was 22, I didn't have one. When I was 42, I didn't have one. But I think I got one when I was 52. And it was a shit one from Amazon. And Jana, I'm so sorry. I know what a big fan of Rico's you are. And thank you for your donation tonight. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do a special weekend show, and I wanted him here tonight for the big announcement. So Weekends just in case, with Rico. I, I wanted him here. I have a, a Twitter message here in my inbox. Let's see if that's anything of me. It's Mary. Oh, oh. Can you please let me come on your show. No, oh, this is big. Remember that person I told you I was on the phone with for 99 minutes today? Yes. All right. Let me see if I can read this on the air. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is, this is from the person I was on the phone with for 99 minutes today. Cause I know, cause it told me on my phone, 99 minutes. This has to do with the big announcement coming up. Hold so I, I got it. I got to handle it. Here we go. Here we go. Great. Uh, now I'm not going to reveal who it is yet. Great chatting with you today. My friend just checked out of, just checked out a few of the podcast. Wow. This should be fun. We'll try to catch the, Opening tonight, be well. Yeah, because I told him I was going to announce it at the opening of the show because I thought Rico was going to be here. So, dang it, Rico. We're going to go ahead and do it now. We're going to go All ahead right. and do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Bowen has a special announcement to make. As a matter, of fact, as a matter of fact, we're going to wait 10 Bowen. minutes. We're going to wait 10 minutes. In 10 minutes. And Kenny here's Bowen the reason because I want everybody in here. I want everybody in here contacting a friend, especially if you're a wrestling minutes. fan. Tell Especially your if you're a wrestling fan, tell the friends. Contact your, your friends. Contact two friends. Contact three friends. We have a big announcement we're about to make, and uh, we're going to have a special guest here next Thursday night. Never been on the bowling alley before, so we're going to give 10, 15 minutes, and uh, name we're trying. Every we're try one of you will know. We're every trying to crack hundred. We're trying to crack one hundred twenty dollars in donations, and not so I will make the announcement, but because we're trying to feed at least two families tonight. And, and other than Scaramucci, the donations were a little low the other day. We, we, we made a grand total of $20 other than the mooch. And, um, and of course, what you said that you would do. Yeah, There's one thing you got in common with mooch. I haven't gotten either one of those donations yet. But no, I did, I did get a letter. You really trust me. A, of course, I did volunteer your donation without going over it with you first. Uh, I'd like to apologize for that, but hey, it motivated, it put the pressure on the, it put the pressure on the mooch once he knew what you were doing that I told him you'd do. Put the put the heat on him. Um, the admiral played for now. Look at Jana giving her, but Jana knows her fucking basketball. She knows her basketball. She also knows those Pelicans are, are no match for my Mavericks. She also knows that too. Uh, I would love to see Dallas steal one of those over in uh, San Francisco. I'd love to see that. Um, 
take the pressure off. And, and I just to, and I just booked our sales representatives there for the next three days in San Francisco, and they're have the, you know you know how much a single sleeping room is in San Francisco right now, just your average hotel. Well, when I say average, you know the big five or six chains, your Hiltons, your uh, Hyatt Regencies, your your Holiday Inn Express. Though, you know how much a sleeping room is going for right now? Four hundred and fifty dollars. Four fifty nine. See, you don't know shit. <laughs> Four fifty nine. That's a good. Did I tell you? Uh, yes. I must. <laughs> Four fifty nine. There you go. Uh, here we go. We got an update. We got an update from Beans. I'm fine, my king, but sometimes I feel dizzy. Well, that's because you're fantasizing about me. Uh, you know, my, well, that was dirty, I think, wasn't it? I think that was nauseous, not... not. <laughs> that, that would be, yeah, that would be where the throwing up comes in at. You know my blood pressure is low, but no, you're not good. No, blood, low blood pressure is not good. Uh, but I'm good, normal, the baby heartbeat, and I followed my doctor said, especially the twice a day met. Okay, all right. Let us know how you're doing on medication for your baby. We're not going to let you eat your fruits and vegetables. Uh, as a matter of fact, I sent you a surprise the other day, and you'll be getting that soon. And uh, and and use that for things that you need. Because um, we, we got to take care of you and that baby, and I know you need a little help. And uh, we're going to make sure we stay on top of that. So for those of you that care about the jelly bean, uh, help us help her. And, uh, it, it'd be nice if we could do, so to tell you the numbers, we actually lost seven viewers since I told him he was about to make the big announcement. So I, guess I, don't know. Announcement. I think yeah, I guess, be or maybe they logged off to go call their friends. Could be. Hey, so we're going to make the, we're going to make the announcement at 10, at 10 50. That's 10 more minutes. We'll make the announcement. 10 at more 10 minutes. 50. Jerry, there, Jerry, there's a guess. I'm going to assume that's a guess building. I'll write down your guess and I'll tell you. Whether you're right or wrong, after the announcement was made. Yeah, after after that, after that, uh, Jana has done her part tonight. She got fucked over. Jana thought her 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 favorite human being on earth, the big Rico, was going to be in here tonight. Big fan of the Rico, and yes. uh, but thank you for your donation. Regardless, I'll, I'll send it back to you because I feel I false advertised. She comes from a big basketball family, so you better know something. Well, yeah, you do, you do. Um, Jan Jana has done a little storm chasing in her day. She lives in a great state for that. And uh, let's see, it looks like I got two messages in Messenger. Let's see, let's make sure. Um, I'm getting ready to make the special announcement in 10 minutes, period. I thought we were going to have Rico in here tonight, but he is swamped in cases with his police work. So we're about to make the announcement in nine minutes. All right. Well, I fucked him over because he thought his announcement about him was going to be at the beginning of the show. So I fucked everybody over tonight, and I certainly apologize. Kinda, it, it's kind of what you do, Kenny. Well, I mean, I'm kind of known for it, fucking people over. Bringing, bringing despair, gloom, and disappointment everywhere I go. Could we finally... No, I've, I've done Lawler Show. Me and this guy have never done a show together before. I've done Lawler Show. Uh, Jerry is not going to do my show. I've uh, We had a civil conversation about that, and he says he doesn't want to talk about wrestling. So even though uh, apparently for free, I think is the key part of that line. You're not going to uh, talk about politics. Yeah. He don't want to do that either. Um, he, he, he did. He talked about it with Steve Austin, but I'm sure that Steve Austin show pays a little bit more than what the bowling alley pays. So well, they have someone underwriting the Steve. Austin I show. did have a conversation with Chris Jericho the other day. And I, I would actually, I'd love to have him on politically. He and I do not align, but I'd, I'd have him on. I, I, I love Chris Jericho. Politically, we do not align. But Undertaker is banned from this show. We're not having the Undertaker on. Not going to happen. Uh, great show tonight, regardless if Rico was on or not. Uh, I was sitting by the campfire listening, so I couldn't comment. Well, we all have shit to do. We all have shit to do. Uh, I do I, I've, my fireplaces are boarded up, so I can't have a campfire in here tonight. The announcement will come in eight minutes. Uh, you've been told to tell you. Do none of y'all have any fucking friends? I don't think so. I think not no, a one of you's got that's a why they're friend. in the show. Uh, well, I guess that's why they're here. I'm their friend. Kenny, you're getting ready to make a big announcement. Yeah, I've got I got 31 emails here. Kenny, you're getting ready to make a huge announcement. Well, you okay, so got me there. We have, there's Rico on the show. Now you're happy, Jana. Rico's on oh, the there show. There he is. There, there you go, Jana. Jana. He's now on the show so there, twice. There we go. Look at that. So I don't guess you have those, I don't guess you have the those. I don't guess you have those gladiator pictures loaded up, do you? Yeah, I could find them probably. 
You know what? Mm-hmm. We're we have ten more dollars than we thought we had. You know why? You and know? I and I. You remember uh, Jerry May? Remember Jerry May? I remember Jerry May. I overlooked his donation because he donated before the show. Uh, uh, Jerry May. So add add nine dollars and forty two more cents to the total tonight. Jerry May donated nine dollars forty two cents well before the show started. I thought he might have done that little thank you donation, but it's PayPal. So great show. I'm off to collect cans and bottles. Well, why don't you get enough for three dollars and we'll treat you a lot better over here. So. Tony Schiavone is a good guest. I love Shivani. My my son would love it if I had Shivani on. Not a bad guest. Bubba, yeah. Mm-hmm. You better put an LOL by that one. That'll get you blocked all stars. Um, Steve Austin had him on. I, I think that was his most recent guest, wasn't it? Uh, yes. I haven't I watched think. that show because I can't imagine I can't watch it and not get mad. Just knowing who yeah. he is. Yeah, I got mm-hmm. no use for him. Yeah, get three dollars worth of bottles and cans, and your problems are solved. You just got to do that once a month. Three dollars worth of bottles and cans It's very easy. Look at Jacob stepping up. That's the only. That's the only donation we've had in here tonight, isn't it? That is the only donation we've had. The only Thank you so much. We've had in here tonight. Appreciate that. So, so we're twenty dollars closer than we thought we were. Thank you, Jacob. That's very sweet of you. Appreciate that. So we're twenty dollars close. It is not Bob Effing Holly. It is not. God damn. Y'all it's not Virgil. Me. It is not, not Virgil. Virgil. I'm not Virgil. Some of you. It's not. It's not Jimmy Cornette this time. I am working on it though. <laughs> not that Jimmy Cornette. Uh, hey, Jay Ward brought me a badge. Are you trying to scare me? He didn't pay for it. He didn't. Martin. No, he, he didn't pay for it. I don't, know where, I don't know where money went. I didn't get it. He and didn't he pay for it. He can't be found right now. And plus, he we don't have way to gift bad. badges right now. We can't say. I can't. I can't go into YouTube and give you a membership. Yeah. You got, even if someone said, Hey, if Jacob water said, Hey, my $10 is so Martin can have a badge. There you go. I can't go into We still YouTube can't buy you a badge to put to and give Jay you a Ward badge. Never, and Jay Ward has to tell me, Hey, I bought something for somebody and he never did that. And now I think he's in prison for 55 years or something for, because he I wants see, to see his kid. But, no, I think it was because he was going to buy a badge for Martin Oakley. Illegal use of badges. Illegal use of badges. That's what a I'm probation guessing. violation. That's what I'm guessing. So no, Jay, uh, he he didn't buy you shit because he never told me. He's got to tell me, and I and I haven't even seen Jay in a fucking week or two. So longer than that now. It's been like two. Yeah. I don't think anybody's week. seeing him right now except on visitation days. My guess. But he told he told me he thought that they were going to fuck him over, and apparently he was right. Uh, that is a shame. I mean, if that is indeed what he got pulled over for was for going to see his kid in Ohio and not contacting so, his probation officer, that, that kind of stuff. So, I mean, uh, you know, rules are rules, right? You got to follow rules, rules are rules. Rules are rules. So they say it does seem we're four minutes away from the big announcement, folks. It, it does seem a bit um, ticky tack, you know, but yeah. Well, Martin, I have every confidence you can round up three dollars. So just saying. Just saying. I have every confidence you can do it. Good day. <laughs> Martin, once you send me your PayPal address, send me your PayPal address. I'll send you three dollars in PayPal so you can buy your own badge. Okay. There I will go. buy you a badge. See, now that's official. Send me that's, your PayPal. Now, now it's been said here. Send but I can't give you a badge. Account. I can't buy it for you. But he will I'll send, send you three bucks. You can buy one. And if you so don't prominent. buy a badge with my three bucks, I will find you, hunt you down, and make you pay for it. There you go. That sounds fun. I'd I'd, I'd pay three dollars to see that. Kevin Nash would be a good guest. I'd love Kevin Nash would be a great guest. I'd love to have Kevin on, but that's that's not the one. We're three minutes away from the big announcement. We could get X Pac to come on. I've told too much shit on X Pac. He probably wouldn't want to come on. I don't know. We we could get uh, we could get Doug, we could get Doug Gilbert on. I don't want to do it, fat motherfucker. Yeah, Doug Gilbert will Batman. not come on this show. I doesn't sound like he's coming, does it? I. I no. and, I told the person that I talked to today for 99 minutes, I said, I've got heat with Doug Gilbert, and I don't know why. I have no idea. Because I thought I might have a little heat with this person, but he explained to me, look at Jacob Water. There you go. That's how you do it, Martin. You get your $3 on the MTV. That's how you do it. So, Martin, send Bob your PayPal address. He's going to PayPal you $3. There's my Twitter. Penny. It's right there on the screen. Right there on the screen. There, there it is, right there. there DM me on Twitter. Yeah, he will pay. I mean, you can dollars. afford a Twitter account. Those are free. No, they're free. You don't have to. You don't have to buy your Twitter. Not yet. Not until Elon Musk gets a hold of it. Uh, there it is. That's how you do it. 
So, Martin, we've made it as easy as we can, even though Jay Ward never told me anything. And I didn't get the money anyway. He fucked me over. He fucked you over. That's I right. can say that because I don't think he's got access to the show right now, unless they let him have his cell phone. Then, then in case he, you got me. But, Mr. Uh, let's see. What prison is he? In? I don't think he's in prison. I think he's probably in a local jail somewhere, is my guess. Um, I don't think they send you the prison for that, but they, fuck, who knows? It, it's, it is, it, it is Florence, Kentucky. So who knows? We do have it someone who Gilbert. knows all about prisons, but we're not going to, it, it is not Gilbert, but there you go, Martin, right, right. Bob, he will PayPal you the $3. I'm going to go halves with Bob. I'm going to PayPal Bob a buck and a half. So Woo-hoo. look at that. Look, look what we've done. Look what we've done. We've stepped I'm going to right PayPal up Bob a buck and a half. And it's not Shelton Benjamin. Sheldon Mitchell would be good. Although typically it's going to be really hard to get anybody that's currently. Yeah. Anybody contract. that's currently contracted to WWE right now is going to be very difficult because they, they don't like that shit. As they a matter like of fact, him. somebody did a show recently and they said uh, they didn't care for them doing it. And they said, fuck you. He's my friend. And I did the show anyway, and I'll do it again. Yeah. Can't say they the name like because him. there's still controversy going on about it. Yeah. Um, we're one minute away from the big announcement. It's not Paul Heyman. Nobody got one friend to come in here for the big announcement. Not one person got a friend. As a matter of fact, three people lost their internet connection. Three people moved it's away. Not, it's not Shelton Benjamin. I could give Shelton Benjamin a run for his money in regular wrestling freestyle, Greco. Well, I bet you can't, and I'll tell you why. That motherfucker is as tough as they get. And I watched Shelton Benjamin beat Brock Lesnar in a shoot wrestling match at OVW. So no, you can't. <laughs> And I'll tell you something else you can't beat him at. That's video games because my son was very, very good. He beat Shelton Benjamin the first handful of times they played. And once Shelton got a grasp for what he was doing, Chris could not hang with him. And I hear he's the king of the locker room in video games. Which is Um, tough there because you will not not beat Shelton Benjamin in any type of fucking wrestling match. I promise you that. And you're not going to beat him in any type of video game that he's ever played. Yeah, I guess. Those are two things you're not going to beat Shelton Benjamin at. It's a nice story to tell. I have beaten a few NBA basketball players in three-point shooting contests. I have hit some home runs in some major league parks. I ain't going to beat Shelton. And I was 212-0 and in wrestling myself. I ain't beating Shelton Benjamin. I promise you that. Anybody who can beat Brock Lesnar in a shoot match is all right with me. And you ain't beating Brock, Jacob. I appreciate your badge. And you ain't beating Shelton. Those are two motherfuckers you ain't going to beat. I However, next time we get Shelton on the show, we'll ask him if he'll... Yeah, Come we'll on. ask him if he'll ra- wrestle you. You might beat Festus. Festus was pretty tough. You I might beat Henry O. Godwin. And another great row. Well, and I stood on a baseball field with a lot of Hall of Famers, but that don't put me in the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. No, I, we're not We're not claiming you're not an athlete, Jacob. Well, I didn't say you weren't. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you, you're not going to. And I'm sorry about your badge to get this abuse, but you're not going to beat fucking Shelton Benjamin in a wrestling match. No, you're not. Yeah, not, mean, in a fa- are, not in a fake one because he'll turn it on you and not in a real one. These guys uh, are world class wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, I'm not, I've never seen you wrestle, so I don't, wouldn't know for sure. I mean, I'll I name you four you. people you won't beat in a fucking wrestling match. I'll name you Kurt Angle, probably still to this day. Sylvester Turkey, still to this day. Brock Lesnar, still to this day. Shelton Benjamin, still to this day. And, uh, and I can probably name a few more. You can be a legit athlete all you want. I was a legit athlete. I was pretty fucking good at baseball, basketball, and football, and I was 212-0 and in wrestling. And I looked for fucking shoot wrestling matches. I ain't beating Brock Lesnar. I ain't beating Kurt Angle. I ain't beating Sly Turkey. And I ain't beating Shelton Benjamin. Well, I mean, Brock's got a strength. Neither are you. I mean, whether he's – I mean, Kurt is a better Olympic wrestler. Uh, Brock well, Batista, Batista was never a legit cha- uh, trained – Greco Roman, whatever the fuck you want to call it, style wrestler. He he was he was for show. Rob Conway was built for show. Um, Batista was built for show. Rob Conway threatened to shoot on me once because he said I had too much heat in our match that all the attention was on me. He tells me during the match he's going to shoot on me. I walked over and had a seat with the fans. I said, "All right, do his shit yourself." So Bobby, uh, Danny, and Jimmy are a little pissed. He said, why did you go sit down? I said, well, Conway said I was getting too much heat and he was going to shoot on me. So Danny Davis called him back to the locker room. He says, uh, Rob, uh, number one, he's out there to get you guys heat. You're a fucking team. The heat was for both of you, not just Kenny, because they were yelling bowling sucks and Porky and all this shit. And um, he said, oh, well, and by the way, you threatening to shoot on Bowen, 
uh bob uh rob you are built for show kenny's built for go you are not going to fucking shoot on kenny bowling and that was the end of that conversation we never had another problem again all right well, announcement time it is announcement time we're three minutes late how do we do on don't don't i say i say we cancel the goddamn announcement i think we should just cancel this podcast forever just cancel the goddamn forever. forever just never do another one never if we another. can't get any more support than this I say we just shouldn't even do one, but yeah, Booker I would T. like to see you. And and, and by the way, you ain't going to beat Booker T either. While we're listening to people whose ass you ain't going to whip, Booker T is another one. And oh, and if you want somebody that might be even as tough as not tougher than he is, what was a Booker T's par- tag team partner in WCW? What was his name? Stevie Ray. Steve, no, you ain't beating him either. I, I can name you a whole shitload of people that you ain't going to last fucking twelve seconds with. I was a pretty goddamn good wrestler too, but I will admit who I can whip, and who I can. I didn't mean to swear. Kurt Angle would kill Brock in wrestling. I would beat CM Punk. No, you wouldn't. Well, yeah, you oh, wouldn't. Yeah. Um, and and I, I've, I've, I've shit on Punk more than anybody, and he ain't going to whip Punk either. I know what people can do and what they can't do. He ain't whipping Punk either. Well, you don't uh, know what Jacob can do. People, You've never seen Jacob. Do. You've never seen Jacob in, in I have a realistic life. look in my ability when it comes to, well, I don't give a fuck. What do you think they do? Jacob, what's the matter with you tonight? You buy a badge, well, you come in here. What the fuck? Kenny, you've never seen Jacob work out, wrestle. I don't anything. need so to. You, like, I don't need to. Or he would be in the goddamn business if he wants to whip. Why would he want people. to? Why would he want to be in the business? To make money. So he can afford a badge all the time. Trust me. If you had the ability, you'd be there. You're not there. I don't know. Uh, Teddy Hart beat the shit out of CM Punk. I don't care about CM Punk. And, and, Teddy Hart, and, Teddy Hart, and Teddy Hart's a badass. Yeah, now, I've never heard that anything. Teddy Hart beat the shit out of CM Punk. I don't know when it happened. I did predict that the Green Ranger would beat you. I run a, I don't give a fuck what you run. There's okay. a lot of people run Mixed Missile. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to beat Shelton Benjamin. I don't give a fuck what you run. You're not going to beat Shelton Benjamin, Brock Lesnar, Kern Angle, Sly Turkey, Booker T, Stevie Ray, and probably a shitload of other people. I know a lot of people run. My son is trained in mixed martial arts. Guess who ain't going to fuck with? Booker T. Guess who ain't going to fuck? Well, out of pleasure, he might fuck with Brock Lesnar. <laughs> but uh, no, I've met CM. Well, I don't give a fuck if you met CM. All right. Bro. All right. All right. Quick whip and ass. God damn. Now I'm not going to make the announcement I'm, all because I'm of the hide the chat from now on. Jesus Christ. No, Jesus Teddy Long did not beat CM Punk. I've I'm met CM Punk. Punk. I can whip him. You know, when I look at CM Punk, I think I can whip him too, but I probably can't. I probably can't. My 212 and 0 record in amateur wrestling might not get me past. We we supposed to make an announcement. We are supposed to make an announcement a long time ago. I'm in a mood. All right, here Apparently. we go. By the way, by the way I, I could whip the Undertaker's ass any day of the week. I just elected not to. Yeah. You're welcome, Undertaker. Um, here we go. That's why you'll kick him on the show either, because Kenny. Here we go. We're almost there. 99-minute call today. Person on the phone. Bob Hazelwood. Kenny, are you busy? Yeah. (laughs) Which I never tell him. Yeah, I'm busy. But 99 minutes later, Kenny, you still busy? I said, I'm just wrapping up. And he he knew I was on the phone with. So, ladies and gentlemen, I never... Give him his badge money back. (laughs) You're fine, Jacob. Just don't put any attention to this guy. He's in a mood. I'm in a mood. Pay no attention to the guy in the mood. Uh, He's just mad because Rico wouldn't come on. I'm a little he pissed. Wouldn't stop oh, what he was doing for work. Do me a favor, Jacob, and tell me you can whip Rico with him on the show. Man, no, sixty years him. old. Nah. You ain't gonna fuck with Rico either. Uh, Rico told me the other day that he can still take Brock Lesnar. He says, "Kenny, you know who's going home?" I said, "Well, I know your history. I, I know you're probably gonna have every intention of going home." But Rico ain't going to play fair. That's just bottom line. That's just how it's just going to go. So um, so the big announcement. 99-minute conversation with this person today. We have not talked in a long time. Probably have uh, not seen him in person, I guess, since probably 03 or 04. Um, Have not talked on the phone. Have not tweeted each other. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hope that's he doesn't. Not, I hope he does. I hope he does not live west of the Mississippi. Is all I can just say. Keep talking. Talk, stop reading the chat. You know what? I'm just going to take. The, I'm going to put banners up so I don't even have to see these fucking comments. 
Um, see, now there we go. I've, I've got banners. Stop reading the chat. There you go. Here, let's do this. There you go. Maybe that's, fu- maybe that's why nobody. Maybe that's why so few people donated tonight. So uh, yeah, I'm sure that per- right there is the the reason. So this person's never been on the show. Um, never once. Known them for a long time. Last Very time we saw each other in person was probably 2000, God, 2003, maybe 2004, but right around there. And uh, never has responded to me on Twitter. And then all of a sudden, I hear that this person has an interest in doing my podcast, which kind of blew me away. So I uh, got back with his people. I said, well, absolutely. fucking lootly Yeah, he's welcome on this show anytime. And uh, they said, well, let me get you in touch with him. So they gave him my phone number. And uh, on the caller ID, let me make sure it's still there, just so I can prove it later. Let me, let me, let me make sure it's still on the caller ID. Prince, Myrtle Beach, Beverly Hills, Louisville, front desk, Ricky Cecil, that's my maintenance man. Shiva Group, that's a hotel. Yep, it's there. Okay. <clears throat> so, the call comes in. Long conversation. 99 minutes. 99 minutes, and a bitch ain't one. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have confirmed it. And I wanted Rico to be here. I desperately wanted Rico to be here. But if Rico can make it here next Thursday, and this person asked for Rico to be here next Thursday, I said, would you like for me to have Rico on that show? He said, yes, I would. I said, great. That's going to make his day. He said, I would love to see Rico again. I said, all right, I'll make it happen. Thursday, May 26th, folks. Next Next Thursday, Thursday, May the 26th. This person asked for Rico to be here. Made my day. Did I mention it was a 99-minute conversation? You did. I read his message that he wrote me. Did I read that on the air? Should I read it again? Sure. I'll read it again did, for did, those because we do we do have about fifteen more people in here than we had before. So let, let, let me let me read it for those that missed. Kenny is the master of making a thirty second announcement take two and a half minutes. Fuck you. Uh oh. Uh oh. A donation. Oh, never mind. It's not a donation. It's my bonus pay. <laughs> I actually asked for hundred and fifty more than he paid me. <laughs> I booked a lot of hotels the last couple of weeks. Right, and I demanded an extra, but but that that's nice. Yeah, he, he that, that's nice. It came in late, but I'm. You know what? Should we should we do the announcement? Should we really even do it? Yes, do the. You think we should? You think we yes. should? Yes. All right. Well, let me go to Twitter then, so I can reread the message that came in just minutes ago. Where'd it go? Just minutes duh, ago. Duh, duh. Vince Russo, Tim Brando, Mark Cuban, Anthony Scaramucci. There it is. Let me click that. It's not Mark um, Cuban or Vince Russo. It's none of those because they've been on the show. That's right. Great this chatting. With, never been great, on the show. great. Here we go. This is from from the guy I'm getting ready to tell you all about. Great chatting with you today, my friend. Just checked out a few of the podcast. Wow, we should really have some fun. Will uh, I will try to catch the opener tonight. Be well. All right. Well, I fucked him over because we did not announce it at the beginning of the show. It's a long so, opener. It's like a so, two-hour long open. It, yeah, it's a long opener. So, next Thursday night, he agreed to a 9.05 start time. I thought we might go 8.05. He agreed to 9.05. Hopefully, Rico Constantino will not be knee-deep in crime next week, and we can actually have him on the show. But next week, I'm going to put the comments back up because six of them have come through that I have not seen. Next week... Jacob Waters is going to fight Shelton Benjamin right here on video. And we're just going to see how this shit fucking goes down. Jacob, I just booked it. Right, motherfucker. There, right there on the couch. Right. Scooby you're, and, right and, here. Right here. And Scooby and Kukau are eligible for it. No, it's not going to be that. Because that would be ugly and Jacob would be humiliated. So yeah. Well, well, Scooby that. would probably. So what like we're going to do instead next week right here on the bowling alley is it 11, it's after 11 o'clock. I can't announce it now. It's after 11. It's it's against curfew. All right, I'll go ahead and do it. Next week, 9.05 p.m. Eastern time, Rico Costantino, if he fucking shows up, will be reunited for the first time in a many, many years with John Cena 
here on the bowling alley. There you go. Bob, you and my son and John Cena are the only ones that knew this. I was hard. It was hard to keep it quiet. God, it took me two hours to get to that. So, John, I know you're watching. John, I know you're watching. You told me you were going to be up late tonight. Thank you so much. Great conversation today. 99 minutes. Loved every minute of it. What a guy. What a guy. So many stories. Uh, he, he told me some backstage stuff I can't even talk about. Um, that we can't even talk about on the show. So thank you for enlightening me to a few things that I did not know about. You're a hell of a guy. You sounded great, by the way. You sound amazing. You, you sound almost as good as I do. So thank you, John Cena, for watching the show. Thank you, John Cena, for the 99 minutes you gave me today. It meant the world to me because I thought we had some heat. I really did. I thought we had some heat because uh, there was a time back in 2009 that I said, John Cena, you're nothing but a leech. I said that. But I was joking. I didn't, I didn't mean anything. You remember when I said it, right? 2009? Who's slamming, who slamming who? You were probably around. And... Um, yeah, I was and, around. And, and, and I called John Cena a leech. And I heard he was pissed at me about that. John Cena, you are a leech. That's Kenny what I called said. him. A That's leech. What I called him. A That's blood what I called him. sucking oh, and By the way, by the way, next week's show, members only. No freebies on this one, motherfuckers. No freebies. Members only. Uh, get your memberships now. But next Wednesday night. I'm sorry, not Wednesday. Let's not fall Thursday night. night. Thursday night. Thursday, May 26th, 9.05 yep. Eastern. 9.05 Eastern. Rico Costantino, John Cena reunited on this podcast. He has given me his word he will be here. He said, let's do that. He would have come on tonight if I'd wanted him to. It's a prototype. Uh, what was John Cena's? It was a prototype. You get God. Jacob, stop it. Um, why why you keep posting his shit? Oh, he's got a badge. He's we got have a badge. To. We're, 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 we're contractually obligated to post I mean, We're stuff, forced right? to. All right. Did he just really ask me that question or was he asking you? No, he was asking in general because he did. It okay. wasn't like a trivia question. It was like, oh. I don't remember. No, he was, he was the prototype. He was half robot. And then me and Cornette saw that gimmick. Me and Cornette agreed. Well, we got to end that shit. <laughs> so. That was how that happened. Uh, just he wrestles champion. robotically doesn't mean he's had robot. Great, greatest U, uh, greatest U.S. champion of all time. Sorry, that was a, <clears throat> that's all right. That's, uh, no need to apologize, Jacob Waters. No reason. Just apologize for thinking you can whip Shelton Benjamin. And if you want to apologize for that, he's we'll taking whip him. He's taking give him a run for his money. No, he's not. He's not going to give him a run for his money. Oh, it'll yeah. be over. And well, over. maybe they're it, running. It'll be over when when Shelton Benjamin says, "Well, it's time." If, then this maybe they're good. running, and if they're actually running for money. That would be like a perfect professional um, foot race or something. So Rico Constantino, John Cena, he said he's not mad that I called him a leech. He said he heard about it. He says, well, Kenny, I said some things about you, and I thought you were mad at me. I said, no. No, we're in a working business, John. We're in a working business. No, I wasn't mad at you. He said, well, I wasn't mad at you. And it was like a disagreement. Uh, like, say, if me, if me and Jana were boyfriend and girlfriend, and I heard Jana said something about me. And then Jana heard I said something about her. And it was all just a big misunderstanding. And then uh, how many Giant. years has it been since I 2000? Mean, how many years how has many, it been since 2000? 19 since 2003. You knocked yourself off somehow. You turned your own mic off. You, mic you muted yourself, Kenny. I don't know how you did that. You muted yourself. No one can hear a word you're saying, Kenny, because you're muted. Kenny, you're muted. I don't know how you mute. Oh, well, he's gone. Kenny's getting up to leave because he muted himself and no one heard what he said. And now he's walking off the show. Goodbye, Kenny. I agree, Jacob. Those guys are a joke. Those guys are a joke. I would not. In fact, you know, just seeing them, the, the BS that they're pulling, it's, it's all worked. I mean, everything they do is worked. So, you know, <clears throat> Goodbye, Kenny. I don't know why he muted himself, kept raining on, and then he just walked away. And there goes Scooby, chasing after Kenny. I don't know if he's even coming back because I didn't hear why he left. But no, I just think a lot of people were overcredited for the MMA ability, and then they run into an actual legitimate wrestler. It's very surprising to them. Yeah, because MMA 
you know, there's a lot of different styles of MMA, right? There. And I'm not a big UFC guy, but you know, I know there's the jujitsu and there's the submission wrestlers and the strikers and whatever. But just because you're an MMA doesn't mean that you're a, a good wrestler per se. So Kenny's now talking to his dogs. He's been muted for like 20 minutes. He made one announcement about John Cena and then he went on mute and we haven't heard a word from him since then. All right. Uh, I said my HDMI cable went out, kicked me out so I can go fix it. You, you never you did muted that yourself day. before, or you muted yourself, or you well, got muted before you said that. So I don't. You can't, I you can't read. You can't read fucking lips, Bob. No, not when you're turned around. Just check. Well, that's on you. That is on you. Yeah. Um, I should learn to read the reflection off the bowling club sign. You should have. So uh, the HDMI cable is fixed. I got me another drink. Did I grab a Mountain Dew? I sure did. did. Um, Where did I leave off at? Where did I leave off at? You said John Cena was coming to see us and that he's not mad that you called him a leech. No, no, he's not. No, he's not mad that I called him a leech. And um, so we forgave each other for the misunderstandings. And um, like I said, great conversation. And um, he sounded amazing. And so next Wednesday night, and I asked him, I said, would you mind if Rico came on the show? Stars has a question for you, Kenny. He said, absolutely. Fuck him. I'll, I'll answer that question. He does have a badge. Later. Oh, he's got a badge? Oh, I guess I'm contractually obligated to answer that question. Um, you don't have to answer it, but you'd have to read it. I, what's it matter? What, what does is it, it What does it really matter? They're both legends in the business. Doesn't one lead to the other after all? Doesn't one kind of lead to the other? Isn't one responsible for the other? Didn't one create the other? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, you know what? And matter? in fact, you can say this either way. One of them made the other both ways. And if you want to get technical about it, I kind of made both of them. If you want to get technical about it. Right. They have both given me credit for their careers. So uh, what does it matter? What, what, what does it really matter? Am I going to my Tucker Carlson bit? Does yeah. it matter which does scene really shows matter? up? Does it really matter? And and what if they don't show up? What if they show? And what if, if they, if both they show don't up? show? And what if they Rico Constantino me and neither of them show? Does it matter? Bob and I'll be here. Aren't we exactly. enough? Aren't we the reason you come? We to come show here anyway? every time to deliver quality entertainment to you, John Horton. Are you my? You're not my friend, John Horton, because your name is spelled wrong. But <laughs> you get the one, and you get the one. He gets that's a free good one. comment. It's, it's a good comment, right? All right. Criminally underrated. Producer, man. I have no say on this show. This is all you. That's it, folks. We're signing off tonight. We're... So, that's the only show. That's the only say I want, and it never happens, right? So, so, so um, he asked a question. He which did. Cena is going to show up? Does anybody in here care? Does, does anybody really care does. which Cena shows up? Cena Sr. is a legend up in the Northeast himself. He's worked exactly. with the greats. He's worked with all the Captain Lou Albano, the Grand Wizard. Not those Grand Wizards that my 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 father worked with. Not those guys. Um, oh, man, it hurts me when you talk politics. Do you really know anything about the theory? <laughs> well, now, what I've, now I, I, let me say, I don't watch Tucker Carlson. Can he do? I, 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 I check. I check out a few minutes yeah. every night to see. But what I, the, the I have seen about. some things that he said, and he's talked about bringing people in who are to non-whites white. and subservient to the Democratic Party, and replacing the current electorate in the U.S. And that's yes. the white it's electorate. Very clear. It's the been replayed over and over and over again. We're very, very clear as to what Tucker Carlson is saying. Right. And now, I agree be, on it. It's kind of like, and I'm going to say this is kind of like critical race theory. Everyone hears the word. No one knows what it means. Replacement theory. That's pretty straightforward. Now, yeah. there may be some nuances that I. He claims that people are making against his theory. Well, I do watch Tucker Carlson because I want to know what these fucking idiots are saying when it comes to Sean Hannity, who, by the way, the mooch likes. I do not. Yeah. Um, Laura Ingram. I don't know his opinion on her. I got no use for her. We didn't get that far. Yeah, we didn't get that far. We, we didn't get that far down the opinion. Uh, and, and I'm also sick and tired of allowing Fox people into the White House press corps 
because they're not listed as press. Fox is listed as entertainment. It is their way of saying, well, we're an entertainment company. We don't have to tell you the we're truth. Not, we're not we're a, responsible. And, and they even released a, a press con They even released a statement today saying that we are a media corporation. We are not news. I don't even know that we're entertainment. We're a media corporation, which basically gives them, in their opinion, the reason to be able to lie to us, make shit up. Well, we're media. Uh, we're a media corporation. We yeah, don't have it's like to. It's a television show. It's just yeah. like, yeah, it's yeah, like the just, bowling alley. We don't have to talk about the truth here. I mean, I, wa I watch Young Rock and I hear all of his stories. And I know many of those stories firsthand that he has told me or told friends of mine. And I know some of those stories have been enhanced for the sake of television. I guarantee you, I watched an episode last week where Roman Reigns, as a little kid, told The Rock, acknowledge me, I guarantee you, Roman Reigns, at the age of nine or ten, didn't grab The Rock around the neck and say, hey, acknowledge me. I guarantee you that didn't happen, but it's good television. So, it is good television. Uh, oh but God. I don't know why you get upset about uh, when uh, I talk politics, because I only speak the God's honest fucking truth. I only tell you exactly also what's in my heart. Mooch and I, and there I am bowling Mooch for uh, truth over lies. Right. Um, we both said we could never win an election because we're going to stand up and tell you the fucking truth that most of you don't want to hear. And neither of us would get elected. Mooch told me, he said, well, Kenny, I can run, but I ain't going to win. Good night, Sean. I ain't going to win. So, next week. All right. Next week, 905. Mers 906. John Cena. Senior. 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 Well, and the father of John Cena. The father of John Cena. I've, uh, I've seen the DNA test. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. John Cena Sr. is going to be here. Which, week. you know, who knows? That could lead to John Cena Jr. Never know. Maybe it, well, hate between it, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you right now what John Cena Sr. told me. He says, Kenny, and, uh, and we'll cover this again next week. He says, Kenny, I want to tell you, one you an exclusive preview, folks. He said that here's a preview. He said, Kenny, and this is the God's honest truth. John will not. John's a straight up honest guy. He will not. He will not lie to you people. He says, Kenny, he's very proud of his roots. He knows where he come from. He's very proud of his history in OVW. And I'm going to tell you the truth. He says, there are some people that I've heard him talk shit on at OVW. You're not one of them. He says, I have never, ever heard John say a negative word about you. And I and I told him. I said, I was convinced because there are some wrestlers at OVW that think the gimmick was who I was. I guarantee you there's wrestlers at OVW that think I'm pocketing every dime we make off Filipino fundraisers. But as long as you and Scaramucci and Michigan Mike and Mark Cuban and people of that ilk, uh, 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 Eric Bischoff, all the big names we've had on this show, even Kevin Kelly thought I was working everybody. He said, I didn't realize he was really doing that. He said, I thought it was all big work. I said, no, Kevin. And I sent Kevin a shitload of receipts. And uh, and I'll be honest with you, Kevin didn't donate. But he said he was happy to give his time to help us raise donations. Thanks, Jake, and, for being here. Thanks for the membership. Yeah. And um, so um, where did I leave off of that? But no, I guarantee you there have been wrestlers in OVW that didn't know me that well, didn't hang out with me on a daily basis like Rico did. Because Cena didn't hang out with me on a daily basis. He'd come over and get some free pizza every now and then or some free wings or whatever. But the guys that were with me every day are the Paul Londons, the Sly Turkeys, the Rico Constantinos, um, got Mike Mondos, any, most anybody that was in bowling services. Uh, Rene Dupree uh, stayed with me for a little bit. Um, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. It's those that really know me. What do they say? And th that that's that's where I give a shit what their opinion is of me. Because if you don't know me, I don't give a fuck. Say what the fuck you want. Uh, if you've been gotten rid of on this show, you were probably gotten rid of for a pretty good reason. And you're angry about it and you're upset about it. And, and you dedicate your life to being pissed over me getting rid of you. I'm fine with that, too. So, um, let's see, I'm getting ready to go live. It was not, I didn't know that Jacob Waters had a live show. Yep, he does. He, he has a show on YouTube, so... Oh, Jacob, is Jacob the one that was, uh, is he the one yeah. that we had on here? Is that the one no. that, uh, that told me he was going to. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. We're not going to worry about that. You're freezing up, Kenny. I think, uh, Kenny and Batista would get along real great. I, uh, cause they, uh, politically, we would. politically we would, um, now Kenny doesn't like any Marvel movies. So that 
you know, they, no, no, you're, you know, you're dead wrong. I'm, I, I enjoy I'm just them. throwing I, something out the car to start. I, I, I enjoy the Marvel movies. I, I don't knock myself out to see them all. Uh, uh, I, I probably wouldn't mind. How you doing, Mango? I probably would not mind seeing the, um, uh, the Doctor Strange movie. Is that, is that what it's called? Doctor. That's Strange? the current one. Doctor. Yeah, Strange. I probably wouldn't mind seeing that. I mean, if I happen to have the time and I'm awake. Uh, I love the Spider-Man movies. Uh, that's Marvel, right? DC? Right. Of course, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, Dave was in the Batman DC. Galaxy's movie. I, I have started watching Batman, and I haven't even finished that yet. So I, I'm only like 30 minutes into Batman. Well, Maya says the, it's great. The Batman, the Ben Affleck, mm -hmm. or the, mm -hmm. the current one. I thought it was okay. I liked it. I was surprised. Maya, that re Maya really liked it, and it's a fucking three-hour movie. I, I'm not used to Maya sitting down watching yeah. three-hour movies. All um, right, John Cena Sr. next week, Thursday, May 26th. John Cena Sr., member only show. We were, we were going to work everybody. <laughs> we were going to work everybody. And he says, Kenny, you know we're going to get a lot of heat for this. I said, from who? He says, maybe John. I said, well, I don't want to get any heat with John. He said, no, I, I, he says, I assure you uh, that John has never said a negative. He says, and why don't you reach out to John and ask him to do the show? I said, the man is busier than cat fuck. <laughs> I said, and if he does my show, and yeah, I managed him, and I take credit for making John Cena, but if he does my little old piddly show, then everybody is going to be wanting him. The the, the Cornets and, and everybody that's got a fucking podcast is going to think he has to do their show too, and uh, that he's ever had ties with. Well, they can uh, he fucking canceled on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Something happened that they didn't do that podcast. I don't know who canceled on who. I don't want to uh, throw out disparaging remarks there, but he was scheduled to do Steve's show, and then he didn't. We don't we don't pay Steve Austin money over here. That's for damn sure. So well, you reached out to you reached out to John through his Twitter, but now who who knows who really runs that Twitter account? Oh fuck yeah, Green Ranger. Well, Green Ranger was a trained fucking. He was a trained fucking legit fighter. He had actually won MMA fights. So I, I know uh, these wannabes that think they can fucking whip CM Punk, and 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 trust me, they probably can't. Green Ranger would have tore uh, Punk up. Uh, Punk can get mad at me about that all he wants. Uh, and Jimmy Cornette finally had to realize that Tommy the Green Ranger would have fucking destroyed him because that was what he was trained to do. Uh, I don't think Jacob Waters, who, by the way, re reneged on a $400 payment he said he was going to make when Bob Hazelwood matched him, um, I, I, I thought that I rugged up some anger on him very quickly. I, I must uh, I thought I recognized that name. And he was the one that promised he was going to donate $400. And I'm still pissed about that he did. Because you did. Because when you heard he was going to match it, you donated $400 that night. And then he never did. And that, that irked me that he backed out of his word. So maybe that was why I got so irritated at him so quickly. Maybe I recognized that name. You said it doesn't bother you. Well, it bothers me because that's a lot of families that thought they were going to be getting money that never got it. So that was what I was irked about. Um, John Cena recently signed with Warner Agencies. You all read a lot more now, than I do. We I need do. to ask. We need to ask John Senior about his son's potty mouth from the Peacemaker. We are going to talk about the Peacemaker, and we're going to talk about what the family thought about it. <laughs> we're going to talk about that cool. next week. Awesome, uh, cool. John. John is a very enlightening, charismatic guy. He John is seventy eight years old. Yeah. I'm 62. When I was talking with him on the phone today, and I think I sound pretty good for a 62 year old man. John Cena senior sounded real fucking good today. I told him, I said, yeah. you holding up good. He still wrestles. He still wrestles. We're going to talk about some of that. Some of the shows he does up Northeast. We're going to talk wow. about the great managers that he has worked with over the years. And uh, we, we got a lot of stuff we're going to talk about. Uh, Jana has seen Dr. Strange apparently. And uh, I'll see it eventually, but I, you know, even though with AMC, I, I still have a tendency to watch them at home. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a good time, guys. As a matter of fact, me and John Cena Sr. might actually have a better show than me and John Cena would. <laughs> because uh, he's he's just a very energetic, chariz char charismatic guy. Uh, and we got all kinds of shit we're going to talk about. And there's some shit we can't talk about, unfortunately. And we will be what, but it will be a members chat only. It might even be a members view only. I haven't made up my mind. Me and Bob will talk about that over the next, because this is going to be a fun show and I don't want anybody fucking with it. So, um, it, 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 members it, will, it, it will at least be members only chat. So if you want to participate in this show, get your membership between now and then, uh, it will not be on Facebook. Uh, it will be YouTube only sweet mango. Obviously we'll be able to, to chime in. 
uh, hopefully. I watched Spider-Man on Netflix last night. It was a very nice movie. Um, there you go. The uh, Or Spider-Man. David Spader. Spider-Man, yeah. David, David, David Spader was in that movie. James Spader. James uh, you Spader should ask him about the Bella Twins. He was always rants hard on them. Uh, if he rants on, if he's ranted on them before, I'm sure he will rant about them here. <laughs> so we're gonna have, we're, we're gonna have, get your we're badge gonna have and ask that question. We're gonna have yeah, get a badge and ask that question. Uh, we are all stars. We are. He's got a badge. Yeah, he he's got a badge, so he can ask that. Get your memberships early. This will be a membership participation only for sure. It might even be a membership view only. I haven't made up my mind. If it was John Cena. Um, if it was junior, then it would definitely be a members it would only. Definitely be, it would definitely be members only. But John Cena senior is going to be very entertaining. Uh, I told Chris today I said I enjoyed that 99 minutes as much as any phone call I've ever had. Uh, we were so appreciative uh, to finally be in touch with each other after all these years. He did come down to OVW, had dinner with the Cena family a couple of times when they were down here. And just a just a good guy, man. Just a good guy. And um, I really look forward to having him on. It's going to be a fun show. Um, well, I don't know. You don't have a badge, so I can't answer that question. Um, if you had a badge, I'd be happy to answer for you. Maybe you'll have one next week when John Cena and Rico are reunited right here on the bowling alley. Next week. But, but, but Cena senior, uh, uh, he obviously knew Rico very well because his son tagged with him for, for a couple three years. And, uh, he, he did ask me, he's please, please have Rico on the show. I'd, I'd love to be on with Rico. So uh, it'll be a fun show, guys. Uh, spread the word. Hopefully we have a good turnout next week. Uh, get a badge if you want to participate with this show. If you ain't got a badge, your shit will not be getting in on this one. So hopefully uh, the art monkey will be able to collect all those pop bottles and soda cans he's looking to get. Because no, that is the that only way you're going to be getting on this show next week. PayPal information. So Yeah, if he, if he pays, if, if he write, send that PayPal information. And, and Bob Hazelwood and myself are going to go a buck and a half each and get you a badge even though we've had people on this show claim they were going to buy badges for people and they never did. We've also had people that were in here tonight that claimed they were going to donate $400 and they never did. So Man. whip my ass motherfucker. <laughs> so, all right. So other than that, uh, I think we've done all the damage we can do here for one night. Bob, what do you think? I think the damage has been irreparably done to the reputation of this show Anthony Scaramucci, John Cena Sr., and Rico Canstatino. Got my bonus but check. Not you. Tonight. That was nice. Got my bonus check tonight. That was nice. That I, was thought nice. We, I thought we had a big donation coming in. And let me check before we go. Let me make sure. No, let like. me check before I go. A hundred dollar bonus from my hundred dollar bonus from my boss. I earned every fucking penny of it. I'll tell you that. I booked Portland, Oregon today, Filipino minutes before the show, family. and booked us for eight fucking days. I, I earned every goddamn dime I got. Uh, let's see. Cash app. Uh, we have the $25 donation from Miss Jana and hopefully we didn't miss, uh, disappoint her too much. Uh, and then, and then I basically fucked Jana over twice by telling her John Cena was going to be on with Rico. Thank you, Jana. That's for you. And then, and, 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 and there's Rico. He was on. We never tell lies here. We get out, we weasel out of it like a fucking Republican. Uh, we'll, we'll say one thing and do another and we'll just weasel out of it. Um, uh, let's see. What is it? Two. Uh, we've been here two hours, 21 minutes. We're going to take one last question, but you got 30 seconds to get it in. And if you have a question we'll ask one last from a question. badge member, not from, from a badge you. member. Yeah. From not none of you fucking freeloaders, unless you're Filipino, then you're entitled to be a freeloader because we're, you're the reason we do these shows. Um, I will say this real quick before we go. And if, and we, if we got anybody with some deep pockets out there that feels Bad for sweet mango. I mean, uh, okay, yeah, we do need to talk about that. You know, you know, you want to, you want to, you want to cover some of it or me? Uh, uh, you go ahead and do it because I'll because I know all the details. Sweet you mango, know. sweet mango needs to be back in the Philippines by June the first. It is now May the nineteenth. Sweet mango's child went through a horrible orde ordeal two or three years ago. Um, a person violated her in the worst way that you can imagine without me graphically describing it here. And she has bounced back pretty good for what the poor little kid went through. Her name is Giselle. She calls me Papa on these shows all the time. She's a very sweet, very smart kid, 15 years old now. This happened when she was 12. They are about to release the guy from prison who did this if Mango does not show up to testify against him in court to keep him behind bars. 
originally it was going to cost about $1,500 and also to get her out of her contract in Saudi Arabia, which is still good for another year. Her people have agreed to let her go home uh, if she can get her way paid for to go back home. It's very expensive. It was going to be about $1,500. Mango said she found a place online and I owe it to her to at least pitch it to you guys. And if you're not a heavy hitter, maybe you know someone who is. But uh, the price she quoted me, she said she found an airlines that can fly her home for 30,000 pesos. And that's in the ballpark of uh, $600, right, Bob? Roughly that's about, $600. Well, let's say 650 uh, just to round up and, and to make sure she's got enough to buy the ticket. Uh, well, no, hang in there, Sweet Mango, because we're covering your situation because I told you I would. So I... We don't have enough money here to do it. Uh, we got people that we're trying to get bags of rice to. We're trying to feed people. We don't have enough money to do it. If there's somebody out there who $650 is not a big deal to that would like for Mango to be able to go home and to testify in court to keep that guy in prison who violated her daughter in the worst way three years ago, uh, let us know. Reach out to Bob. Reach out to me. Contact me on any of the social media. And if you would like to be the one to sponsor her, or maybe two or three or four of you would like to be the ones to sponsor her to be able to go back home, uh, I'm sure she would be indebted for life. She really wants this real bad. We just don't have the money to do it. Um, and and because we'd have to fuck over a shitload of families that just need 4,000 pesos for rice, 6,000 pesos for rice. Food comes first, no matter what. Food comes first. And... Um, but I did want to plead her case because there might be somebody out there who $600 ain't a fucking big deal to and could, it could be of some help. Or if there's three of you out there with 200 bucks. Yeah, or three of you with 200. So if you all contact mine or Bob's inbox, let us know. We will show you a receipt from the plane ticket being purchased. We're not going to fuck anybody over here. Uh, I've already, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, my car will be paid on... Um, the first, they, they gave me till I get my checks in to pay. So, no, I'm not taking it to pay for my fucking car. Um, and Bob knows that. This the, We will produce a receipt of her buying the plane ticket if somebody wants to help her do that. Um, I can't make any promises to you, Mango, but we, we pledge your case. And if somebody knows somebody that would like to help her get home to keep this guy in prison, just imagine if it were your daughter. Imagine if it were your daughter and the guy that violated her was about to go free. And like I said, violated her in the worst way. And I love that little kid. I wish things were better here that we could easily do this and not fuck over 12 other families in the process. But uh, that's the boat we're in. But if we come up with 650 bucks worth of found money that from somebody that wants to do this for her, then then that is great. Right. And uh, She's got to be there by June 1st, but she's, she's got to buy the ticket. By, she's got to get the ticket pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. this isn't something, and and, and we also have on. to look. At, we also have to look into it and find out. Uh, Bob, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna because I told her I would have you research it because you're better than I am. She gave me the city of where she needs to fly from to where she needs to fly to. I'm gonna have you see what the best price is you can find. But she said she saw a quote for six fifty. I think that's possible because I, I know I can fly to the Philippines for under seven hundred dollars. And that's a fucking 24 hour flight. Yeah, send me that. Uh, we'll Saudi Arabia is not as far. I mean, uh, well, you know what? Just look up flights from Saudi Arabia to Manila because that's where she's going to Riyadh have to right? Manila, right? Yeah, there Riyadh. you go. That, that's exactly it. Riyadh to Manila. So, yeah, look that up. I know, Mango, honey. I know. We're working on it. So I told you I would. I told you I would. And I'm glad. You know, I Mango, you if, you could, if you could kind of squeeze that tiny little body into a box, maybe we could FedEx you. <laughs> What it, I think it would cost more to FedEx Joe, than it would to probably fly. would probably would. I, I know what it's cost me to send twelve pound packages to the Philippines. It might be cheaper just to, uh, and you know, goddamn well you wouldn't FedEx her there. You'd FedEx her to Dallas. You'd pick her up at uh, a temporary at stay, United Airlines Arena or whatever. A, a temporary <laughs> stay. Hmm. Temporary is all you'd live. So. Well, I mean, yeah, just should show me one video as I as she arrived and I'd be dead. So, <laughs> so Mango, honey, we're trying. And um, I, I wish we had the money to do it. I wish AMC had. And if, if AMC hits a big in the, a lot of people are saying, look for a big June. We've heard this shit before. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit when it hits. Uh, I can't see them holding off more than six to 12 more months. But then again, I've said that before. 
So it'll hit when it, it's going to hit as long as we all hold. None of us are going anywhere. You see all the talk on Twitter. They're not running any of the apes off. If we didn't sell at 77, we're not selling at fucking 7, 10, 12, or 15, or 20, or 30. Somebody posted, a, are you ready for AMC to run up to 45? I said, I was there for 77 and didn't give a shit. So yeah, 45 would be a lot better than where we're at now, but ain't nobody selling at 45 either. So uh, nobody here. So, Mango, I pledge your case for you, sweetie, and uh, I wish you the best. Don't count on it. Don't count on it. Uh, that's not easy money to come up with, but maybe somebody knows somebody that will feel bad and want to help you. And if they do, if they contact me or Bob, we will make sure to get it done. And I'll have Bob do some research on what a legit airlines charges for a plane ticket because uh, I don't know how it went from $1,500 to $600. Uh, that makes me a little suspicious of what you may have found over there, but we will find a legit place. We'll find out a legit price and then we'll go from there. And if, if it's one person with 650, three people with 200 or six people with a hundred, you know, contact me. And, uh, but we're not going to take anybody's money till we know we have enough to do it. And if we get commitments from six people, if we get commitments from 12 people that want to do 50, you know, that's great too, but we're not going to take any money from anybody till we have enough to do it. And then once we have confirmation that three, four, six, or 12 people want to help you get there, then we'll say, okay, PayPal the money. And we'll make sure that she gets every dime of it. So there we go. I pledge your case. And uh, um, I think there's a 99% chance it's not going to happen because I don't want you to get your hopes up. But who knows? You you are Catholic, and I'm sure you believe in miracles. So let's let's hope for one for you this time. But please don't mad at me if it doesn't happen, but I've done everything I can do here and Bob will do everything he can do to research the plane tickets. And then we'll go from there. And uh, we also need to look into what are the penalties if you don't go back? We need to look into that too. Yeah, um, not just the, yeah. what does it cost to, I mean, your contract, all that stuff. I mean, yeah, if you buy, is, is there anything they can legally do is what we need to look into it. Yeah, we don't want you. you well, you can never, you can never work in Saudi Arabia again. Well, I don't think mango is going to have any fucking problem with that. So, um, so let's see, let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. Interesting. All right, Bob, we have done all the damage we can do for one day. We've done all the good we can do for one day. We've done both good and bad. We live we for good and evil. <laughs> we have definitely done both. Uh, John Cena Sr. next Thursday night, 9.05 Eastern. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Tell enemies of your friends and friends of your enemies. Tell everyone you know. Tell people you don't know. Buy a billboard. And put it Buy up. a billboard. Buy a billboard. Peace that out. Might cost more than that might cost more than $650. You know Buy a billboard and give Mango some money. Go Do that. Do that. I'm Bob Hazelwood saying good night, everyone. He's Kenny Bowen. That's me. Yeah, He's I'm over. Yeah, I'm I'm right I, here. I, I'm right. I'm right oh, here. I got I got to put the screen behind me so that we all know. <laughs> uh, well, I enjoyed having you guys tonight. Thank everybody for dropping in. Two and a half hour show. Sorry it took so long to get to the announcement. Uh, thank you, we'll Rico. Here. We'll, we'll, thank you, Rico. Stiffed me again. He, he's no better than Anthony Scar. Those damn Italians. You just can't book an Italian on this show, can you? <laughs> I you just can't book an Italian reliably. Hey, uh, what's the matter with you? Hey, forget about it. Uh, I, I'm having that guy on real soon, too. The forget about it guy. I'll yeah. be having him on real soon. So until uh, the swine guy week, can come on next. Who's still real to me? I have told he would come on. I have told you guys three weeks in a row I might do a show Sunday, and three weeks in a row I haven't because I wasn't going to miss that Mavericks game last week. So if we do something, we do something. If we don't, we don't. We will. Because I did three. I, I did. I did three straight shows this week. And uh, so if I don't see you Sunday, I will see don't you next Tuesday. That. Send us money, however. Send us money. Yeah. And if you if you can, seriously, though, if you can help out with Mango, please let us know. Yeah, we let us get, know. Uh, we will get uh, together with her. Get that, and, and for get the millions and millions of you that will be watching this show for, on a recorded the basis. Look yeah, below uh, the show. Thank you. Show the show that look who showed up here for the first time and God knows when. Ain't got no badge, but he, he he's a he's a frequent donor though. He's donated many he times. Is. He does donate many, many 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 times. He's donated many times. I haven't seen well, him for. I try. Yeah, he's he, it has been so long since he's been in here. I could not scroll down and find him in my 
uh, is, Facebook is Messenger. Canadian money, is it, is it real money anyway? I, I couldn't find him in my Facebook Messenger because I was going to send him links to the show because we hadn't seen him in forever. And I was going to, hey, hey, here, we're doing this, drop in and see he, He's been so long since he's been here. I could not even find him in Facebook Messenger anywhere. On, I, forgot what his, I forgot what his real name is, so I couldn't find him that way. <laughs> I typed in Lemonhead. Wait, Lemonhead is not his real name. Yeah, Le yeah Lemonhead is not his real name. Contrary to popular belief, so <laughs> Lemonhead, write right. me in my Facebook Messenger, and I'll start making sure you get links to the show. So you uh, plus you could just subscribe and check. Uh, there it is. If you're watching the recorded version of this show, go to. You can do this on your computer or your phone or your Android. Right. Or your There's app. the thanks button. Click thanks, and if you would like to make a donation to help us out on this show, show support to the show, you can now do that. And uh, you have no excuses anymore. If you like the show, help us keep this show going, support it. And uh, we, we think we provide you some pretty decent entertainment here from time to time. And the Not money tonight, goes but there have been nights we've done. Yeah, well, exactly. maybe next week will be entertaining. Yeah, next week might be entertaining. Uh, I think you guys will really enjoy John Cena Sr. He is uh, He's pretty entertaining. I really enjoyed my time with him today. So until... Uh, if not this weekend, next Until Tuesday the next night. next time the show is on. Next time the show is on, join and subscribe and get a membership. Remember, the John Cena show will be members chat only. It might even be members view only. So if you want to see that show, and there's going to be some bombshells dropped on that show, guys. I'm telling you that Getting shit right now. Bombs. Going to be some bombshells dropped. So uh, if you want to participate with that show, save up your $3 or your $6 or your well, it's actually seven. It's six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. I don't want to lie. You know to what? Me. If someone wants to become a house stooge, we might even bring you on with John Cena Senior. If you're a house.